All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so good at that. Clapping? The clap, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for you to sit down. What's the clap for? The clap is to match up oh, the match audio. Up the audios. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds complicated. Mm. You really don't need it, but, but Do you it's use professional. It? Is it more like ceremonial? I, I use it a little bit, Maybe yeah, it, yeah. I feel like it is ceremonial now. Yeah, ceremonial, and then I do an all right every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know when the all right starts, that's when you start it. Like it's after the clap. But yeah. for recording. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you seen an episode? No. I no? admit I have not seen or listened to an <laughs> oh, episode. Oh, man. You get a lie on camera. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I've seen funny. everyone. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but then what if you quiz me on it, then I caught in a lie. Yeah, yeah. well, that's what was going to happen. Yeah. If you were going to lie, I was about to quiz you. Cause have I ever lied to you, Ian? Probably. Yeah, probably. At least, at least <laughs> yeah, a couple of times. <laughs> uh, so we start everyone with a would you rather. Mm. Uh, and you got to hold up right right to your mouth. Like right like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Uh, so this one is would you rather. Do we want to say who he is yet? Yes, Jay Tannen. <laughs> I've never introduced anyone, Tyler. <laughs> oh, okay. If you've watched the show, Jay, I've never introduced anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Tyler, Tyler would. No, but see, <laughs> which is weird. <laughs> Part of the joke is I want you to be able to say that. Right? Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I had yeah. to bring it up. No. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. The no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to choose him? No. Yeah, yeah. I'm no. just a random guy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll do a, a quasi-introduction because we did a book together once. We did. So we'll talk about that after. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Ceremonial, would you rather? Okay. Would you rather never talk again or never write again? Never talk again. <laughs> Well, oh, that was wow. quick. That was really quick. <laughs> yeah. I've actually thought Tyler's about that one before. Tyler looks impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and you picked like the probably the unpopular answer. I don't know. That's I don't know because I would never talk again for sure. Well, because like, I'm an artist and I think yeah, if I could. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like yeah. most people probably would give up writing. Yeah. I think so. To oh, not no. talk. Yeah. Nowadays, I definitely would give up writing. Because I guess you would just. Well, you can like type, text. Yeah. Yeah, you would just like talk to text. Okay, but if you weren't a writer, yeah. what benefit would you have to n- well, like would there would there be benefits to yeah, not guess, talking and not well, like if you if you weren't a writer. They'd both, they be, both annoying. be super annoying. Yeah. yeah. It's both so it's what's more annoying. Not being able to talk or not be able to write. Not you do a talk. lot of writing in, in a today's day and age, yeah. social media stuff. Yeah. yeah. It might get more annoying to not write. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like you just lose your ability to write? Like you just don't know how. Yeah, you'd have to talk into your phone or something. You right. Know? Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, talk to text. Talk to your phone. Well, you go either way, right? Talk to text or write to talk, right? Yeah, but what? But which one's more annoying? For sure, I'd rather like no right to write. write to talk is way more way easier because talk to text gets gets it Fucked wrong all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the time. It's but, way more annoying. But eventually, it'll be good, and it's going to take way less time. For what? Way less time for what? It's already here. Right? What about predictive text? Ta- that doesn't take too long. Yeah. That doesn't take too long. But you know what I mean? Like, if you have to write out your <coughs> thing, that's going to take longer than me saying it. It's not really. Not that long anymore. I actually really? probably talk. No, actually, I actually write probably quicker than I talk. What? I don't know. I don't know. How, how many words a minute does the average person talk? No, because you got to you gotta, words a minute. Right now, you could just, you could just I can think. I Google that. You could just say what you're thinking. I can Google that, though. How, many, how, how, many, how fast does the average person talk? What do you guys think? Take a guess. Literally no idea. I would. I don't even know wh- like a reference. Anywhere point between for that. like five and five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Five hundred words a minute. Hey. <laughs> between five and. 500. And then and then Google the fast or the average uh, typing. Well, no, it's not average. It's mine. That's no, you can't look up average and then look up your. You're a writer. That's not. No, because because I don't know how uh, how fast I talk. No, but so I'm gonna use a reference points for average talking. No, I say just use average I for would, both. I was I thinking talk. we were talking about average. Yeah, 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 yeah but. Yeah, see. How fast does the average person? Because I was saying I could talk. I could no. The whole thing started because I was saying I could, I could type faster than I could talk. I bet. Do you really think that? That's why it started. So we're not doing. But do you really think that? Uh, or is that just like a? It's close. It's, it's close. like very Ian thing to it's say. Close. But like, is that? It's you close. Know? You think so? The average person speaks approximately 100 to 130 words per minute, and I can do maybe like 105, 110 words hmm. per minute. Yeah, we did a test at work. And I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what is the average uh, person type? <coughs> probably l- like thirty. Well, less than a hundred. Yeah, less than a hundred. Guess, guess on this one. You think thirty? Thirty, thirty-five, maybe. I don't know. Mine would be like twenty. Twenty. Type very slowly. I would think 
Yeah, probably like because there's so many old people. Yeah. Who like hunt and peck? Like What's this guy. <laughs> Are you a hunt? You're a hunt and pecker. What's that mean? You have to hunt. No, no, I'm not that bad. Oh. <laughs> hunt. <laughs> I'm somewhere between I'm a little that, better than that and like yeah. normal. Person See, I grew typing. up on a computer, and you guys did not. No. 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 My I got, computer I got my house when, yeah, when I was ten. Oh so. no, I, I didn't get one until high school. Yep. Family <laughs> computer. <coughs> yep. Too Christian. Yeah, I was very Christian. Yeah. Yeah, I looked up a lot of porn in junior high for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I watched music videos. That's what I had to do. Yeah. Christian oh, Aguilera, oh, dirty. Okay, I have another Classic. one though. <laughs> I have another one that I thought was interesting. What? Because this was a quick one. So you both are lose talking? Yeah. Yeah. You what? You you're going opposite? Yeah. Yeah, for sure I am. I'm the average person I think on here. Yeah. You guys are too artsy. You're for sure you're gonna say <laughs> that. average typer. No, like I'm just like the. I think the average person would probably give up writing over talking. I think. I think. I think it, your life would be a little harder, giving up. It'd be hard either way. It, was, it would be hard either way. It'd be annoying. It wouldn't be that hard. It would just get annoying quickly. Yeah. yeah. And then you get used to it, and then your life would just be that. Then you're fine. Yeah. Then you'd be like, "Fuck, I have okay, so many would you rathers." <laughs> Do another one. Do your lives up. Oh, and this is not a dirtier one. Oh. But would you rather lose both your ears or your right thumb? My right thumb. You can still hear. Oh. Yeah, but I don't want to look like. I know that's yeah, right. Yeah, I don't want to look like I don't it have. It comes ears. between vanity and being able to do my exactly. job. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. It's vanity. It's vanity or functionality. Everybody picks vanity. I don't want to not have ears. <laughs> I yeah. wouldn't be able to not do my job. I would pick my ears. Yeah. Because I could be like ears. wear a hat or grow my hair or something. <laughs> I need my thumb. <laughs> oh, oh, up. so you well, have to I lose could, I could learn to be left-handed. So maybe. <laughs> yeah. A painter almost picks. And eventually they're going to make thumb. robotic. Thumb. Yeah, you'd be able but to you'll get never replace those ears. Well, I mean, if, as long as I can still hear, you can repl- you can get yeah, cosmetic yeah, you ears. Can hear Our fine. friend Cody does. Yeah, but then you look the like you have cosmetic ears. Yeah, you look like an elf. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm an artist. Yeah, I weirdo. think as a as a painter, you probably need that. I'd thumb. be way sadder if I lost my thumb than my ears. I'd be and more how do you wear your glasses? Contacts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, easy. But then you don't look as cool. <laughs> or no, like, I think part of your look is your glasses. I wear contacts every day, and I prefer them. Yeah, Every but he looks cool grade, wearing. 12, grade 7. I like well. wearing contacts because I like to wear sunglasses in the summer. That's basically right. why. <coughs> and also in the winter when my glasses fog up, that's annoying too. I've thought about getting uh, prescription sunglasses, but then I'm like, but then I can't take them off. I'm just stuck wearing them. Yeah, it's annoying. I've had them before. They suck. Yeah. Then you go inside, you've got to wear sunglasses like at the grocery store or something and yeah. you feel like an idiot. But then what about the ones that change? Is that what you're talking uh, about? Are there ones no, that like change? Are, yeah, there's ones that automatically change, but there's yeah. a, those are those are for old people. I feel yeah, like yeah, they are yeah, because yeah, they yeah, never yeah. quite change totally clear. They're always kind of tinted. Yeah, oh, so I it looks see. like you've got like glaucoma sunglasses right. on or something. Yeah, you're not very hip, Tyler. <laughs> you're not very hip. I'm not. <laughs> well, no, I. Listen. You would pick your ears though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stay looking hip at least. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you could just wear those all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Another good point. That's yeah, 100% yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Just no more in-ear headphones. Ear headphones yeah. Always the big-ass headphones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody I'll keep can that tell. market alive. Uh, it reminds me of a funny episode of Curb where he, he's wearing a hat and he goes on a date, right, mm. with this girl. And then they, they're, like, talking from table to table. And then uh, she accepts the date. Oh. And then he gets up to like, intru- like to, to, like, shake her hand or get her number or something like that. Yeah. And she's in a wheelchair and he's like, Oh shit! <laughs> it's like you take them off and you have no ears, but then they go on a date. No, but then they go on a date, and he takes off and he has he's not wearing a hat anymore, and she doesn't like him because he's bald. That's where I thought you were gonna go with that. Yeah, yeah, that he's bald. That's really funny. That actually happened to me on a date once. Literally, it was the winter time, and I was wearing a toque, and somebody asked yeah. me if I could take my toque off. I was like, okay, cool. And they're like, oh, good, you have hair. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You just asked, asked me. I want to make sure, make sure that I had hair. Yeah, to confirm. Yeah, fuck that person. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. It is true. I'd still want to see, though. If it was a woman. I mean, it's one thing to, like, see. be curious, but, but it's like, another it's thing to be, like, oh, scarf, I would worry. Yeah. The scarf is where I would be, like, some... S- a you scarf know those on scarf? your head? Oh, yeah, you know the scarf? scarves? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're probably hiding. Yeah. So you'd go, these, these are all pretty easy ones, hey? Yeah. Would yeah. You'd rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have another one? No, that was two. I have, I have a lot of hot takes that are disguised as would you rather. <laughs> go for it. Go. Let's, let's, uh, or do you want to introduce him first? Well, we can introduce a little bit. Okay. Because Jay and I made a 
book of poems and paintings once together. It's called Before Oblivion. Yes. And did you know it's on Amazon now? Yeah, you told me a little I while ago. Okay. That's exciting. Do you want to see it? This is a, a quality of the Why did you guys book. decide to put it on Amazon now? <coughs> we got it locally printed. Mm -hmm. And the, the glue work was not that good. I'm not going to say the name, but the... Yeah, I don't remember the printing technicalities, <laughs> I, but I've yeah I've noticed that before. I have a well-worn yeah. copy, but yeah, and also yeah, they fade a bit, right? Yeah, a little the, bit. The edges. So yeah, I mean, the, the the I mean Amazon, that's they're they're a book printer. Oh, so that's why. Yeah, so like that's what they do. They they have industrial. Oh, um, that's the that's the new copy. Yeah, oh, I've I never see. I've never got any printed. I don't think any have ever been bought. But I was just wanted to see what it would look like on Amazon. All right. Okay, okay, so it would be a better option if we do a second book. Okay, so for sure. we're all the. The art made for the poem or the poem made for the art? Yes. Yeah. The to answer both. is yes. <laughs> ah, so we kind of started out where like, I think I did six, five or six pieces, six pieces of art. You did five or six pieces of writing and we kind of matched which ones would go with what. And we find out, found out what we had in yeah. common and then we kind of just went from there and then matched them all. We did. There was one set before that. And then I sent you like 30 poems. Yeah. And, and you... I remember picking yeah, out you ones picked that out, really picked out, and resonated then you picked with me. Ones that resonated and then themes. Yeah. And then mm. from there, we decided what kind of themes we wanted it to be based on. And then we both had a little bit of previous work. Mm -hmm. And then we built new stuff. And then we made a really depressing book. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was honest. It was It was good. <laughs> it's the first thing I ever put out. Do you want to read one on air? No. Do you want to read one on air? No, I don't want to read one. <laughs> Some of these words are too big for me, I think. I don't want to fuck it up. Twilight? I could probably do Twilight. Yeah, Twilight's pretty good. It's okay, cute. I could do Twilight. And it's not as depressing, I don't think. No. No. Now, okay, wait. It's just short and cute. Okay. Twilight. Twilight by Ian Cannon, read by Tyler Kahn. Yeah. Ty Kahn. Ty, thank you. Sorry. For those who are concerned only with the state of becoming and have neither a desire nor need of being. You forgot to say the title, Twilight. Twilight. Which is like an in-between state. Oh. You know, which is very important to the poem, actually, because it's very short. And then, he's, and then, and the then there's a picture of uh, two naked people in a pond. It feels very twilight -y, I think. Yeah. I think that one... We actually had a very easy so this time. This isn't about vampires, then, I'm guessing. No. Okay. But we had a surprisingly easy time. Oh, Tom Hanks is in this? <laughs> oh, that's not... No, uh, uh, oh. Dillinger. Not Dillinger? Was yeah, it's Dillinger. Dillinger. Yeah. Gangster. Yeah. Gangster. <coughs> but yeah, we, we, cool. we matched all them after... Cool. Yeah, Tyler, we, we matched them all after. after, and it was very easy. Cool. Yeah, way easier than well. I thought. I yeah. thought it would be harder to match which. I don't think we disagreed what. on any of them. No, we no. didn't. I don't think we had a single disagreement the whole entire process. No, that's cool. Amazing. Yeah, that's and the whole cool. thing flowed very easily. Yeah, and I'd love to do another one this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you probably have so much work. Because you yeah. went through that like where you're just <coughs> banging them out, right? What do you mean banging them out? The poems. Oh, those are just for Twitter. It was like a... Oh, like a, okay, okay, okay. You wouldn't like publish, publish. You wouldn't publish No, those, those are not like publishable. Oh, so you, ha those do you have fun. ones that you haven't... Yeah, I, have, I've been, I probably have 20 over the last, last three years, two years or whatever. But uh, that you I haven't like put out there? For this. Oh, okay. It'd be more after the novel, the second novel should be done in like March. Right. And then I'd probably have like two months where I'd want to work on something. Would you want to do like a continuation of this? Like different themes probably, but like the same... Yeah, kind same of like, kind of concept. Yeah. I like I like the concept. I think I would want to do like drawings rather than paintings too, right. like the same kind of yeah. visual look. Yeah. Well, you mean like so you'd size them down? Well, no, I just meant like drawings versus paintings. Like those those are black and white like drawings right. like oh. ink and pencil and stuff. Right, cuz yeah, cuz cuz a lot of them we had to turn black and white. Yeah. Right? A couple of them we did. Yeah. So you'd rather do paintings, sorry? Or drawings? drawings? I think I'd rather do drawings. I feel oh, like okay. paintings are <coughs> Like a whole other thing, but drawings are a um, bit more accessible, and I think yeah. they uh, just from the pro especially from learning the process from the book, like yeah. they translate better to words. I so one of my favorite things to do in the world, like I absolutely like mind blowingly favorite, is to go to an art gallery, and then just write poetry. Because for some reason, when I look up paintings, oh, like you just go sit, and yeah, then I just write? go stand there, right. and so many words just come out. I don't know what it is. Like I just look at it, and it just it just plops out. Hmm. And so you I just would like Google art and then do the same thing? Well, yeah. So, so oh, I have okay, art books yeah. and I've done that. Oh, okay. So yeah. I was going to say we could do like a pure reactionary book. So mm. I would just like do work and then you'd write poems. Do a live. 
I don't know, live. That's I'll do like an interpreted <laughs> dance with it. <laughs> live, live, and writing. Some live and writing. That'd be for like the DVD version. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Live and writing is is one just like the like just such a bad idea because like first draft. No, maybe live drawing. Line. Would that live be easier? Drawing. Oh. Uh, it's not my favorite thing. No, no. Yeah. Done it a no, few no, times. No, no, no. no. To throw some I appreciate the enthusiasm, here. but no. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good no. idea, but maybe for two different people. It's a good idea, right. but it's not a good idea. So no. It's a good idea for somebody else, but not for us. I'm sure somebody else could make but it. But yeah, work what do you think sure. of like a, a fully interpretive, yeah, reactionary yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I really like. So that what experience. would come first? <coughs> His the drawings, paintings, yeah, or, or yeah. The p- drawings, yeah. Okay, but then I, mean, I feel like so we should then talk he's about. He's got to find inspiration. Yeah. There. Well, we could talk about like you know, yeah, inspiration beforehand, gritty. things that we're both inspired that's, by. Yeah, that's so right. We, we, we kind of have to be on the same stuff. page. I couldn't like. I don't know, yeah. paint a bunch of pictures or draw a bunch of pictures of something you're completely uninterested in. That's so you'd true. want like a That's whole true. theme for That's the whole true. book? Like one theme? No, and we, then did, you make we, it did, we can actually, if you open the book, Ty, there's a page of themes. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean for this new one. Oh, I don't know. If you're going to have him just like draw. I don't know. Yeah. Not necessarily. We could do it like in sections, like a couple <coughs> around one theme, a couple around yeah, the yeah. other. Right. Yeah, that'd be cool. Out. Yeah. That'd be really cool. So what would you say your style of drawing is? Uh, like, I would call it pop surrealism, but it's oh. not really like other pop surrealism. I don't know. Hey, what, what what is that? So it's like surrealist art, but using pop culture references. Mm-hmm. So I, whenever I draw, I usually like source images from other places and combine them into a drawing, and then put like my oh, own okay. personal style treatment over right, top I can of it see all. That, right? Yeah. So just different, like cool. looking at things through. My own perspective lens, mm-hmm. I guess. Right. And I think some of the best art is genre bending. Yeah. I, I, thru, thrillism, that era of art, I think, is my favorite. I think for me, like, trying, I've you're tried to do that things that are like here right now. purely. Well, I didn't say pop. Oh, that's true. I said surrealism. But <laughs> well, trying to do something that's purely pop just will always feel like you're, feels like you're copying somebody else. Right. 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 Because right. yeah. it, it, the inherent pop art is cult, copying. Yeah. Right. right. Or, yeah, like, yeah, even yeah, surrealism, yeah. like, it's just you're very much following, <coughs> like, you know, you're trying to follow yeah. like a formulaic style, kind of. Rene Magritte is my favorite. I love Rene Magritte. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's the guy favorite. who did like the apple in front of his face yeah. and the bowler hat and like a train the coming out of a like fireplace. Three, three paintings and then an apple slowly coming cl- closer and closer until it's like right here. I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, and yeah. Very surreal and just, yeah. So, what, what kind of art is, is it? That? Is it surreal? That's called it's surrealism. surrealism. Yeah. Yeah. It is surrealism. Why does yeah. that make, what makes it surrealism? How would you define surrealism? I don't get it. Do you, well, do you know the word surreal? I know the word. Like it's kind of like reality it right now, bending. Yeah, reality okay, okay, bending. Like okay, a yeah. dream-like reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Something surreal. It's, yeah. it's like taking realness and bending it a little bit. So making it like weird to look at, even though it's just... Like yeah, there's an oddity to, yeah. to, right, to, right, to right, the right. realness. Or like yeah. weird to think about or something. Right. Yeah, right. and that's my yeah. favorite kind of writing too is magical realism. It's a, it's a real world, but there's a little bit of magic right there's, like, a, there's a little bit there's of something some that's different. off right yeah right, 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 right. yeah like like i wrote a short story and then a guy just gets stuck in time forever right right or i wrote a short story and, and it, it, it's uh he becomes an art piece in a gallery hmm. and until he dies but he lives f- until people get bored of him i haven't read that one that one sounds fun yeah it's called please please don't touch the art <laughs> He actually, he, so he has a... Interesting. Yeah, he has ag- agoraphobia, and he finally leaves his house for once in like 10 years, and he finds an, a, a random surreal art gallery. Right. And then as he's looking at a painting that's of him, that's exactly like him, with the same shirt on and everything, he forget, fro- someone pokes him on the shoulder and goes, hey, can I ask you a question? And he freezes because he's got agoraphobia. And then she doesn't know what's going on because he's <laughs> not answering her. And then she asks somebody else, is... I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this guy, and then a crowd forms, and then slowly he becomes part of the art gallery. Sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, so he's <coughs> not a painting. He's just like a guy, who's like a dummy. Yeah. Not Am a I dummy. No, but, well, you know. So he like disappears from the <laughs> physical world and just ends up, his perspective shifts to like looking he's, out He's from still the a painting. person just staring at the painting. But and he, he, sa- he stays there the whole time until... Let's for like this years year. and years and years? More, more like, I, in piece? my mind, like a year, because it's kind of like blows up into this very famous piece and then dies out. Because people get tired of looking yeah. at it. Okay. Yeah. So, hmm. so this is a commentary on like uh, right. cheap art too. Yeah. Yeah. Like that banana that was in the news. Yeah. And so nobody yeah. thought to like call an ambulance or anything like that? No, they thought he was part of the gallery. Like oh. he was, they didn't know. 
It's, it's, oh. that's, that's what it is. Magic, it just is. There's no explanation. Right. It's just, that's what magical realism is. It's a little bit of like, can't happen. Right. Right, 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 right But right, based right, off right, real life, yeah. Right, right, Yeah. And so, oh, okay. Yeah. It's like uh, Kafka, metamorphosis. He just becomes a bug one day. And you're like, okay, that's what it is. He's a bug now. <laughs> <laughs> and then he has to live his life as a bug. Mm. And then his family is like, or his sister's like, I got to feed him because I'm pretty sure it's my brother. And that is surreal. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, hmm. It's the world, but a little bit weird. And There's and something just, weird about it. Yeah. Something weird happens. Like dreamlike. Like things dream-like. would happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. my favorite kind of anything. Movies, too. I yep. love. Yeah. Just this, just real, but like a little Christopher different. Nolan movies? No, his are not surreal. They're I not? I would not say they're surreal. They're, they're science fiction, I would say. What's a Christopher Nolan movie? Uh, like Batman. Inception? Inception, yeah. Batman. Oh, okay. Wouldn't yeah. that yeah. be Memento? surreal? I thought ba- Inception would <laughs> for sure be surreal. Yeah, it's why would it? Science, oh, fiction, science fiction. So there's a difference. So yeah, it's science. Sci- science fiction, but like. But why isn't it surreal? Yeah, I don't get it. Because it's based. It's trying to. It's trying to explain it like it could be a thing, like a real thing. It's not actually using anything that's like t- well, asking you to make a leap of faith and just this is the reality. So surrealism has to be real, but the universe is slightly different in this little way. You like don't think that something. could like be blending genres too? Like you don't think, but w- it's a good question. I, it's a good question. Yeah, Why wouldn't, that be, wouldn't it be like? Uh, but I don't think it is. No, the I, I real world, real. except people enter people's dreams Isn't because because they're trying to explain it through science, right? Like there's this machine that that right, right, somehow right. can enter people's dreams and tracks. Yeah. So there, so so that's actually the difference between surrealism. Uh, a good a good explanation. Why surrealism mm-hmm. just asks you to take a leap of faith. This is just the way the universe is. There's no explanation why to how and how it works. I just don't get why science fiction science can't fiction be tries to has a science basis for why this is. But they're guess, asking you to accept it. I guess because maybe it doesn't. It's not asking you to like suspend your disbelief. It's trying to explain your yes. disbelief. Mm. Yeah, okay, that and makes it's like sense. this. There's this machine. That's the difference. Yeah. There's this machine that does it. Whereas oh, it's just I like, see. for for example, you just what if there was just it. a guy and he can you know, go in your dreams? That, that would be surreal. surreal. Yeah, there's no explanation why he, he can do it. Candyman. Is that surrealism? No, now it's horror. Yeah, but Candyman was oh, like I a know, ghost or something. Which is interesting. Oh, so I again, see. it tries to explain it. But yeah, right. a lot of a lot of a lot of I guess horror would be surreal. Have you seen yeah. the trailer for his new movie, Tenet? No, I don't know who this is. Who? Uh, Christopher Nolan. Oh movie. yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. I have. It lo- I, I can't tell what it is. I have no idea. No, but it looks great. I don't like Christopher Nolan that much. What? No, I don't. I, don't, no. I think it's overrated. I hot take. So. Hot take. That is a hot take. <laughs> I, I don't no know. Memento, Batman movies. Overrated. I like the Batman movies. I like them. I, I really like them. Most people yeah. say they're. I didn't like Dunkirk I, that much. So, but so it's like Christopher Nolan. People see as like ten out of ten. I see him as like eight point five. You know, he's like he's good, but yeah, overrated. It's reasonable. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I really like those movies. Yeah, I can't think. I can't think of one I didn't like except you're for Dunkirk. An uncultured dolt. <laughs> wow. Dolt. <laughs> Sorry, there you That's get called something you don't Hot know what take. it is. Dolt. <laughs> Uh, like being John Malkovich would be like a purely surreal movie. Have you guys seen That's that one? That's one of my favorite movies of uh, all time. I no, I never seen. I know what it is because he loves it. Yeah, so yeah. you know the concept. This yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Weird <laughs> and awesome. Yeah. Okay, I think I get yeah, it. My my favorite movie is his uh, his directorial debut, The Writers. Um, Charlie Kaufman. Oh. He directed Synecdoche, New York. Very surreal with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Why is that surreal? What's um, the so so I'll give you an example about? of a really good example of surrealism. Mm. He creates, he's a playwright mm-hmm. in the movie. Yeah. <coughs> and he creates a play of life. So he makes New York inside of this factory or warehouse mm-hmm. that's in New York, but two size. So he makes the size of New York in a warehouse that's in New York. So that doesn't, you can't, that, the reality of that is just like, that's just what it is. And then, and then because it's, a model of New York. There's actually another warehouse that has another New York in it. And it goes seven layers deep at one point. Which is very cool. What's that movie called? <coughs> Synecdoche, New York. Which, with oh. Synecdoche, the word... One, there's a city in New York called Synecdoche already. Uh, in the state of New York. Right. But Synecdoche means a small represent in the big. Right. And his wife makes little baby paintings that you have to have a microscope to see. Right, right, right. Yeah. And then, like, that's not really art. He's just making life. He gives people scripts every day to live out. So it's like this this really weird. That weird. sounds very interesting. And then, so like and Wes then Anderson movies are very surreal then. No. There's nothing surreal, surreal about Wes Anderson movies. They're well, just odd. They are odd, but I mean like. That's a very. That's v- they're interesting they visually surreal though because like visually, visually surreal. Yeah. Wasn't there like a tiger shark thing they just made up for the <coughs> aqua one? These are Does really good questions. Why, why are these not surreal? And it, No, it's not surreal, but it's, it's, it's odd. It's odd. And, and I don't know what. 
I'm trying to think of what the difference because yes, there are because because reality is not like that. If you like, if if you yeah. just looked at like stills from that are surreal because yeah. the colors are weird. And, yeah, like, it's but real, people don't but talk real. to each other like that, like the way they. Are. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, there's something odd about society in yeah. a Wes Anderson movie. That's maybe more like pop hmm. film. Like yeah, it's, maybe. it's odd. But this, these are really good questions because I I I know these intuitively. Right. But it, but I've never asked why they're the same. But you know they're not the same. Yeah, so you just need a dumb guy to start asking these questions. I don't think these are dumb questions at all. I think these are <laughs> no, 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 questions. I know. But like a guy who doesn't get it to like ask Adult. a question. Yeah. <laughs> Adult. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to use that word tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used that word in my life. Well, no, nah, I'm going to use it tomorrow. That's a lie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used dolt before. You, don't, you, don't, you, think, you think I've used dolt before? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. There's well, no way you just pulled that out of your ass right no. now. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I've you read it. I've read it. Hmm. There's a lot of words I've read and then I pronounce wrong. Dolt could be one of them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You it feels it. like something you very likely said out loud. Yeah, I've never yeah. said or I've never heard him say it. I've never even heard that word before. I feel like I have. You've never heard the word before? No. Really? Not that I can think of. Adult? It's, that's a dolty thing to say. <laughs> it's like something that like old school like cheesy comic book supervillains would call people. Like, yeah. You dolt. You infernal dolt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Probably I'm not even. Never, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard. Or that like uh, I probably heard it. Not. Books or something like that. Yeah. I don't know where I'd hear it. It's an old. I'm gonna think of term. a surreal movie while we're continuing, and I'll I'll show you. Yeah, I'll figure this. <laughs> I'll get <out>. one. <laughs> so far, I'm over two. I'm like uh, no, but those movies. are really good questions, and yeah. I think that's interesting. The distinction between something like Wes Anderson or science fiction or horror, and why right. they're not surreal, though they have surreal elements. Right. I think it's interesting. How can something have surreal elements and not be in some way surreal? Like maybe it's not like overall it's not surreal, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't say it's not surreal. Yeah, it's not part of what because because it, it's just like you should know that from from painting genres. Like they can have overlapping qualities, yeah. but they're just genres of stuff, classifications, and like like there's drama in a lot of movies, but they're not dramas. Yeah, I feel know? like with painting too, like the like when you categorize <coughs> things, it's very loose. Like mm-hmm. it's generally, it could, it's mostly this. It doesn't mean it's not something else. Yeah, it's yeah. Just mostly one thing. Yeah, I think movies are probably similar to that. Yeah, but 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 Wes Anderson's oddness is part of the movie. Yeah, it doesn't make it surreal. Yeah, it's see, there's a difference like between odd and surreal, which is interesting. Right? Yeah, uh, it's subtle. That's right. a that's a blurred line. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if he was sitting here if he'd argue with you on this point. He could, yeah, that's I a good question. Might be like, you know what? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. all my movies. Does he think? I literally that's a good question. Yeah. Does he think his movies are surreal? Does Wes Anderson, or if you're odd, watching, write him a letter. Think, yeah, he's watching. Yeah. He's for sure watching. I think you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Something I, I want to do more is just write uh, famous people, because they, they, they a lot of times I think they answer. I was surprised you tried Red Bull. You yeah, just randomly no. asked them. <laughs> asked for a thousand dollars. Wow, what'd they say? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> they said, well, it's so many words. Like, what'd they say? We tried to get a sponsor. Just Do you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah, read it. <laughs> Fuck you, Red Bull. Never re- drink a Red Bull on camera again. I'm just imagining them sending you back like an email that says, no, sincerely, Red Bull. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, they were very polite, but I was like... Uh, Did they give stipulations? Like, you don't have enough followers? Well, I said I would use this, I'd use the money for ad money. Right. And I could probably get out of that money uh, 20,000, 30,000 views. Right. And it would be mutually beneficial for them to give us this money. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they said, no. <laughs> they just said, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> they I'm said, sure they elaborated. Oh. Dear Ian, thanks for getting in touch to make us aware of your podcast. Arrogantly, she spelled arrogantly wrong. <sighs> <laughs> idiot. Fucking idiot. Shows they're paying attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. What a moron. I don't even want your money. But you know, you know uh, what I appreciate, though? Somebody actually wrote that. Yes. That's not, yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. That's actually, or they have a bot somebody that actually it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a bot that knows it's wrong. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true. Yeah, it's genius. Yeah. Genius. Uh, uh, yeah. Dear Ian, thanks for getting in touch to make us aware of your podcast, Arrogantly in the Middle. While we realize how effective such strategies can be, I'm afraid they don't fit with the marketing path we've laid out for Red Bull. Best of luck to you, Cass. I'm not going to say her last name. Say it. D. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't just put D, so I don't even know what it is. Well, thanks, Cass. <laughs> Fuck you, Cass. Okay, all right, all right. You don't know. This is what I said to her, them. Oh, oh, we have okay. a podcast called Arrogantly in the Middle and are looking for a small sponsor that will help pay for a small portion of advertising. Oh, actually, I only said $300 a month. Very They're probably reasonable. like, we're not small. Oh, you asked for $300 a month? Yeah, only, not only just only a lump sum? Oh. $300 a month in return for a one to two minute plug on each episode. <laughs> With $300 a month in sponsorship <laughs> fees, you get at minimum 10,000 views a month. 
to the one to two minute plug. You should just blast that to a bunch of companies. That's a plucky little email. A plucky little email? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Plucky, like a lot of a lot of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was like, with yeah, three hundred like dollars a good. month in sponsorship yeah. fees, yeah. you'll get ten thousand views a month to your one to two minute plug. Like you know what I actually think? I think it went to a bot and the bot's like, Well, maybe. Yeah. Let's send it to Cass. <laughs> yeah. You Cass, try that review with this, other Cass. Companies. What do you think of this? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, and Cass is like <laughs> <laughs> Typing that, she for sure is that uh, yeah, hunting, hunt, yeah, 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 she's yeah. Hunt, hunting and <laughs> hunting and plucking. Well, let's fuck you, Cass. Should we read out a sponsorship rejection every episode? Yeah, let's try one <laughs> that's like a good, once a that's week. A good segment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, rejection. Who said no <laughs> this <laughs> week? <laughs> <laughs> let's send one out All every right. week. It's not a bad. It's not a bad uh, request, even short. It's no. like it's like here's what you pay us. Somebody will say yeah. Here's what you get. Why not? If yeah, I were reading Red that, Bull I'd be happy it. you didn't like. It wasn't too long. You just got to the point. Didn't like try and justify yeah. things yeah. too much. You're just like, well, yeah, like I wonder if they took the time to like go check it out. I like that's worth it in itself. You think they clicked? Yeah. I wonder if they clicked on the link. Well, when they want to check to see if like they what would if have what to, if we were right? like they would have to, super yeah. they would popular. have to yeah to like you would do so that must be worth in itself just sending that email <laughs> that somebody you at can, Red Bull yeah you can do up. a mass mass email too yeah but I I use their uh, the website has like a sponsorship link. oh I see so I didn't email anyone specifically let's send like local people <coughs> yeah yeah who's out there KB and Co <laughs> I don't know we've worked with I know them a girl before. who works there who uh, she climbs with me she that's her name gym. oh. No, no, but she might say no to this. Request, oh, I so. see. What she's okay. Or might see this. I don't know. Fair enough. We'll Sweet. see. All right. Well, that's cool. Shout out KB and Co. Future sponsor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next week, we'll tell you how you said no. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I have. Remember, I said I had hot takes. I do remember. As yeah, let's or do this. Would you rather disguise as hot let's do takes? This. Okay. Hot take: Denim is better than leather. Is that a hot take? Mm. It was just like because I'm thinking of pants. You're making yeah, thinking statements. of pants. The hot takes are just like poorly thought out statements that I make. That yeah, I, but I, I feel really like a hot take is like unpopular. <coughs> Wouldn't it be? Well, people like know. leather, do they not? People like leather a lot. Pretty indifferent to like that like distinction. Like they're yeah. like them both. I'm like thinking both. of pants, though. I mean, I'd rather denim pants than leather pants. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but jacket, so. Well, I would rather a leather jacket than a denim jacket. I think I'd rather a denim jacket. I think I'd rather a denim jacket. Yeah. Well, hot you guys. <laughs> you know, because you know why? I think I'd rather Whoa. a really nice leather jacket over a denim jacket. I think you're right, but I'd wear a denim jacket. I'd wear a more. Denim, I would. I would yeah. definitely rather a shitty <coughs> denim jacket than a shitty leather jacket. Uh, yeah. So, so that's no, a good point. Would you rather a perfect leather jacket or a perfect denim jacket? Perfect leather. Leather. Le- right. So, yeah, yeah. so now, now it's you a want hot your take. denim jacket. Is you want your denim hot? jacket to be shitty. Yeah. But so you now, want it rugged. No, but but, but there, you can have the perfect shitty one. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You're perfect one. Oh, then maybe a denim then. I think still leather. I leather thought I was leather's still better and probably way no, more expensive. I can't think of a leather jacket I'd want to wear. Oh, I know often, some really though. tight. An often, yeah, no, though? often though. So it's that's the hard part. I still yeah. want to wear it that often because it's wear too it. it's too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, Ian, relax, relax yeah. with yeah. your <laughs> leather, bro. Yeah, like if you showed oh, up to sure. work like wearing a leather like jacket, part of your uniform. Yeah, and I'm yeah, trying to think of what this leather jacket you wear, would like look your like. suit and tie with the leather jacket yeah, still. Fucking do what it's you your want. Blazer. Yeah, mm. yeah. You're like, you're like, you're like, you're like Ian. This that's, is me now. That's inappropriate wear for this meeting, but that's a fucking sick jacket. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> I don't know. Like, where would you get this leather jacket from? Danties. Also, are we saying you can only wear the leather jacket? <laughs> no, no. It's just, it's just in general. Yeah. It's right. not a would you rather. This is a hot take. Is I, denim I better? think. Okay, well, because because it's because it's true. Denim is more versatile and better for jeans. But a be- a good leather jacket is better than a a good denim jacket. I think if we're talking about textiles overall. <laughs> denim is probably better than leather. It's more overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. overall. Yeah. That's what I'm pants for overall. sure. Yeah, and just yeah. for other things like you would. There's a lot more things that you would use <laughs> denim for than leather. Okay, so so and uh, all the so, vegans so are on the well, denim side. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> what if you had to delete one? Leather. But you use leather for a lot of housing goods and sitting and, and shoes, furniture, shoes. We forgot about shoes. Mm. Think about leather all those boots. sneakers. Leather mm. boots are big. That's true. Yeah. Hmm. Because yeah, I guess the only thing I have that's denim is jeans. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so if I you have delete a jacket one. Too. But then what? What do you wear? I guess everybody yeah. just wears sweatpants. That's a sweet life, actually. Well, for shoes, I wear sweatpants. Denim with rubber. Right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, none of us wearing denim. 
No. Denim is actually these the, are nice. The nice, l- nicest looking, but I don't remember the oh. store. Those are nice. <laughs> Denim are but I guess nicest looking, but least comfortable. No, what are those? Pants. What are those pants that a lot of people wear now? Uh, joggers. No, 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 not sweats. They're uh, joggers. They're like pants. Pants. <laughs> Suits. Trousers. <laughs> no. Fuck. I know the <laughs> name. Joggers. Starts with a C. Cox. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nobody's wearing those. Yeah. Fuck. What's this? this We're all the, three of us. I think this is where a lot of people wear instead of fucking jeans. Yeah. Crocknets. Croc. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Why can't I think of this? Oh, uh, hold on a second. Chinos. Chinos. Thank you. Chinos. Oh, it almost gross. seemed like you got it, but I had just said it first, but yeah, you maybe. had it in your head. I think it was coming to me. Yeah. That was weird. Because I think I heard, ch- and I'm like. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, it's almost like yeah. you responded with Chinos too quickly. Yeah. That you were going to say yeah. it if I didn't say it. But I got chinos. the Chinos. Yeah, so chinos. because Chinos exist, I could probably get rid of jeans. I like jeans. I like jeans better than sweatpants. It feels more like structured and more like I like my. See, I'm a fitness girl. I'm wearing. Have a see, the, I live in the like my. I live in these ones. Business. I've worn. I've I've worn jeans once in two and a half weeks since I bought these. I've worn these every day. I don't that's, know if I've ever left. That's the interesting house in because sweats. it's very obvious if you wear those every day, right? Because it has the big puma. Fuck you! Puma. I'm just saying. Don't point them out. I'm just saying because no, I have sweatpants. <laughs> I wear a lot, but they're yeah. just black. You wouldn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are black. Or no, but black? you have the big puma. That's very obvious. Should I get a Sharpie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Color that shit out. Yeah, yeah. Paint roller, like, myself? Yeah. Well, no. Everybody knows you're wearing it. Everybody. But you don't know. No, it's because I was on break. Christmas break. So I wasn't out and about every day. Mm. Uh, but I did it. But so one I person mean, yeah. did say, oh, you're wearing those pants again. No, well, there you go. <laughs> Somebody did. And I wore it. And you know why they noticed? Because of the, the Puma. fucking Puma. Yeah, you're right. Because I, I wear black jeans sometimes Dude. for like weeks and weeks in a row. That's why you don't get big logos on your pants. I think this is the fourth day in a row I've wore these pants. See, that would be obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice though. pants though. But you just probably work, work in a studio yeah. by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't in a long... My apartment flooded, so I have very limited wardrobe with me, so... So you got a good excuse. Yeah. yeah. These are, I have like three yeah. pairs of pants, and these are one of them. The other two are in the laundry. Yeah. Mm. I live in sweats. It's part of my job. <laughs> I don't know. I just never found matter. sweats to be uncomfortable, or to be comfortable. Oh, I love the feeling. I don't like them. I they're too, like, loosey-goosey. I wore jeans. You could on you could Tuesday? find pants that aren't too loosey goosey though. Yeah, I wore I jeans. Know. Well, see, too these stretchy. are just like I'm nice a fitness coach, right? so I had to but like live in them. I mean, I wear them to the gym, yeah, 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 but like for like just wearing around. Walking around. No, that's fair. Like, I don't want to like I don't want to. I never want to turn on one of those guys that go to the grocery store in sweatpants. But no, you know what? Fashionable sweatpants. That's a thing. You know what? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that but it, fashionable. Yeah, fashionable sweatpants are big now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Don't just personally don't like doing it myself. I wouldn't do that. But what you don't want to be comfortable in it. Is the guy who wears baggy sweatpants. Yeah. No. That guy. No, or no, dirty no, no, ones. Yeah. Or dirty yeah. ones. Or sweatpants with the bottoms cut out because you've stepped on them so much. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and the flip flops. Oh. Or that the guy's basketball a mess. shorts. That guy's yeah, a mess. That guy's a mess. Shout out that guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck He's our number one guy. fan. They're for sure watching right now. <laughs> yeah. Cass wears that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, who the fuck is Cass? <laughs> Cass <laughs> D. <laughs> Cass D. <laughs> Shout out Cass D. All right, next one. Uh, flying. Is way better than invisibility. No. Disagree. You disagree? I take invisibility. Really? Yeah. That's Wait, dumb. can I turn it on and off? Like flying? Yeah. I don't understand that answer either. <coughs> really? Yeah, flying, flying would be way better. No way. Yeah, never having to buy a plane ticket again. Just I think invisibility, the freedom. invisibility you get old after a bit. You're like, no oh, way. Yeah. I just steal plane tickets. Uh, yeah, I guess no, I guess you don't steal them. You would just, I'd, I'd you steal just go so much shit. You wouldn't steal it. Yeah, I don't you? even. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> like invisible I just bike. walk on the plane. <laughs> yeah, but then you'd have to like stand up the whole time. No, it'd be awkward. There's always empty seats. Or you can sit in the aisle and make. Well, it'd be hard to get. Wait, other can people way. feel me if I'm invisible? Yeah, you're just invisible. Just invisible. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't walk through walls and shit. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, flying is way better. I always picture like I'd wait, rob wait, a wait. bank. How about how fast you fly? Like what's the oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like because if it took you yeah, sixteen very, hours, very I was thinking like you could fly yeah. as fast because if it took you sixteen hours to fly to <laughs> Australia, is that really worth <laughs> yeah. it? <laughs> you fly like five kilometers yeah, an hour. Stops. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, but then well, no, what, what, no, I still I still take it. I still I do I still take it because you'd still be really cool if you could love it. It would be. <laughs> Hundred yeah. percent, the thrill Flying, for sure. would be better. But I feel like I could find more useful things to do being invisible, which I'm not going to say on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what would you do? What would you do? I mean, like theft. Yeah, like yeah. lots of theft. A lot. Yeah, of a lot theft. Of theft. Just you, that. You would, that's like the main thing that invisibility yeah. would be good for. Hundred percent. Nothing so related fly, to the like Me escape. Too movement. No, 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 no. Listen. No. And no. is it really Me Too if you don't know? 
Yes. Yes, for sure. I think it's a hundred thousand percent. Yeah, I think that's the whole basis. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Well, <laughs> all right. I guess I'm going flying. <laughs> no, the theft is worth it for me for sure. The theft It'd is be more worth profitable. It. I don't know. You could like no, no, because you could, yeah, you could you could do you can make a lot of money from flying. Yeah, for sure. For sure. If you're a flying, like person, check this out. People, I'm flying. Yeah. Well, no, I have a show in Vegas. Yeah, but yeah. I could do that with no, a Vegas show. Yeah, yeah okay. No, no, yeah. okay. But you know what? You ever seen the Prestige? <laughs> yep. I would just be the magician that nobody knew had this power, and I just fucking had this right. amazing trick that nobody could figure out. Surreal. Yeah. Also, David Copperfield owns a chain of islands. For the same thing, there very rich. It would have been surreal if, if he was actually teleporting. No, would it have? Because that's science no, fiction. no, no. That's science fiction. Yeah, yeah. It's true. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, damn. Because <laughs> the Prestige is a Christopher Nolan movie. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. <laughs> science fiction. See, damn it. see. Yeah, it is cool though. But it, but it was surreal <laughs> leading up to the end. No, because because it's it's not surreal if. No. Is it explained? Does it explain it's like explained what's happening? Is it explained? It's explained. No, you know what? Because he has a bro- he has a twin. That's what it was. Yeah. So it's, it, never mind. Yeah. So it's, no, but then he then it's science the second time because then but he's duplicating. He's oh, he's copies. duplicating. Right. Yeah, because then the other guy thinks it's real. So can a science fiction movie? We're gonna go back to this. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Yeah, yeah. Can a science fiction movie be surreal until it's told? No. Could yeah. it be, no, it's, no, could it be 99% yeah, yeah, surreal? Yeah, it, it can be surreal, but it's not in the genre. Cause no. Because it's, it's like, what is this But genre I've never heard film? a movie like, when you say genre, <laughs> like I've never seen a movie genre as surreal. That doesn't seem like a genre. It seems like a type of writing or something. Oh, that's a genre for sure. I've ne- if, if you went onto Flickster right now and looked at every single movie, none of them say surreal. I guarantee none of them say but surreal. But if I typed in Google, surreal films. Yeah, but uh, no, but it's a type, I'm sure. But you, know what, you know what it it's is? It's not a it's genre. It's a genre, genre on Netflix. Is it? It is. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't. I don't well, yeah. I mean, I don't remember. Seeing I, I think it, so. you just pulled that shit out of your ass. <laughs> no, I didn't pull well, out my ass. Netflix. <laughs> it said the, it, it, the, Google, the first not. Google search was surreal films on Netflix. And you just but is like, it like acted a drop like you do that. Option? I don't have Netflix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I thought maybe it was Actually, gonna be right. Hot take: Dracula on Netflix is amazing, but we'll we'll just <laughs> Dracula like uh, it's Bram so good. Stoker's. Uh, the guys who made no, the guys who made Sherlock Holmes just released a miniseries. Hmm. It's three episodes, an hour and a half long. So good. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. See that. Really good. I do I like uh, Dracula based films. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Basically, the first episode is the Bram Stoker thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have a very interesting uh, 2000s uh, Dracula film. It's Nosferatu. Oh, I was uh, going to say Dracula 2000. The That's Nos- amazing. <laughs> have you heard of the original Nosferatu? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like the old one? Yeah. So the original Nosferatu is actually like Bram Stoker's Dracula. Not mm-hmm. Bram Stoker's, but uh, who's the writer? I can't remember the writer. But the original writer of Dracula. I think right. that is Bram Stoker. Is it Bram Stoker? Yep. Yeah. yeah, but then but they didn't have the rights to it, so they made up a, a new vampire called Nosferatu, but it's actually just Dracula. Right? But it but it's a, <coughs> is it the same story? Yeah. Like the lawyer the goes to the Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh that's weird. You but, have two different but he's books like more of a monster story. and not like a charming like <laughs> devil guy. Yeah, he looks more like a monster, yeah. right? But then there's They're a, remaking that movie, by the way. Nosferatu? Yeah, the guy who uh, made The Witch. Or oh. Witch. That was a good, good horror movie. Did you see the new one he made? No. The Lighthouse? No. It's is it as no, good? I didn't watch it. I want to see it, though. It's the good. Witch was so good. The Witch was really good. Yeah, I, like I really like The Witch. But yeah, he's. Uh, I read that he's doing the Nosferatu. What's, mm-hmm. the, what's the guy's name uh, who did... Uh, Wes Anderson? Who's... <laughs> Christopher Nolan. I start forgetting like, everything. Like, All done. Uh, no, who's, who's the Green Goblin in Spider-Man? <laughs> William Defoe. William Defoe. So William Defoe plays uh, Nosferatu. That adds up. In, this is it, a real movie? How old is this it's movie? Called, it's so weird. Look at the... Look at, oh! It's G- Mal- John yes, Malkovich. Yes, oh, I've, I've seen this seen movie. You have making, seen it. You guys have seen it? Yeah. They're making the movie. Yeah, like, you guys Nosferatu have seen it. Seen this, movie. Everyone, this is very weird that you both have seen it because yeah. I have never shown anyone this movie and they're like, this is a real movie? This existed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You but you were also it. explaining it wrong. I have rented it on VHS. <laughs> no, I was not explaining it wrong. Because they're making the... It's not the Nosferatu story. I thought you were talking about a Nosferatu no, story. No, no. I, I was just asking... I was oh, pre- okay. Because they're making the prefacing movie. Prefacing if you guys have seen the Oh, original. yeah. No, I've seen the movie. Yeah. And so uh, this is strange. You guys have both seen the movie. Yeah. I like I it. I yeah, like Dracula I vampire saw, movies. I saw a trailer and I was like, what the fuck? Like, how did this slip through the cracks oh, of no, my knowledge good, of films? I like uh, Dracula but vampire you, movies. But you know what's weird is it feels like a comedy it, but they play it straight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it is a. I think it is a. It's comedy. not a comedy. I don't think so. I think it is. It's like look it's up like, the genre. It's right like now. a writing. If they just played look it, look up acted, the genre. If they acted it differently. It's not surreal. No, it's not surreal. 
No. Have you guys seen something, something we do in the dark? The comedy yeah. about like, we the talked New about Zealand this. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that movie yeah, what too. we do in the shadows. So good. Yeah, what, what we, we do in the shadows. shadows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, good. There's two spin offs to that really? show. Really? Yeah, yeah, not that good. The uh, second one I really liked. What do you mean, the second one? So the, there's the, the spin off about vampires. Yeah. They made a spin off about the two cops. Yes, I didn't watch that one. It's very good. Okay, I should watch that one. Yeah. So the two cops that go in that they hypnotize, they made a spin off with those two cops. And they investigate paranormal activity shit. That so sounds like really a, good. Yeah. It's like a it's a is mockumentary. It take, it's take like YTT still. I don't know if he does it. It's the two. It's the two people who yeah, are in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But hmm. that sounds fun. It's really funny. If it's like the same like deadpan. Yeah, humor it's the exact same that. humor. They're the exact same character that they were in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, because they because they did did the spinoff of the New York version, that. and it's like, Not why yet. did you do this? This is just what we do in shadows, but a, like worse. Right. It's just like a copy. Yeah, Americanized, but not not the right. like the Office Americanized where it's better. Yeah, where it's yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rare occurrence, though. The Office is. That's true. Very rare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there another one? Can we think of another one? Uh, UK show? Red Dwarf. They tried Red to do Dwarf. That. This is a British Never. show. You guys. This is a worse one or a better one? No. So. Oh no no. <coughs> yeah. Can you think of British another American oh, one? That's uh, better? No, but there's probably a lot of American shows that I don't know were British first. You guys probably haven't seen it, but Queer as Folk is a popular show in like the early 2000s. That yeah. was originally British. I, and the I know what that is. is I know it's about is. the gay guys. Yeah, but it's yeah. originally a... Uh, British. Wow. That's an HBO show, right? Yeah, I think I think it's HBO or like Showtime. That's original British show? It was, was originally it? British. Yeah, the American they version call is better. the UK? Same Queer as oh, Folk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make folk? a bad joke. It's from an Oscar Wilde line. There is not so Queer as Folk. I mean, like people are weird. Everyone's weird. Queer as folk. Hmm. I don't Oscar think I've Wild. ever watched it. Is yep. it a big good fan. show? Big fan. You're a big hate fan him. of that? You hate him? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't th- <laughs> No, there I can't think of another show that was British No, me either. Better American. Yeah. Actually, actually what about movies? I think <coughs> Sure. Departed. Wasn't that a Oh, I think that was yeah, it's a remake of something. I think it's a Korean film. Yeah, it's actually Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's true. Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that was probably better. I didn't see the Korean version, but I can't imagine Korean people yeah, doing that movie. But then they, they redid <laughs> Old Boy, American. <laughs> the Korean version is incredible. Uh, the American version. Oh, really? Is okay, but not necessary. Yeah, that's probably. I it, think a, a gangster movie would be better American, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's Do they probably have gangsters in Korea? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Japan, yeah. Yeah. Pretty like sure Korea? there are gangsters everywhere. That's true, actually. Korea. I was going to say martial arts, but then is that Korea? No, Japan. Japan. Yeah. They have martial arts in Korea. A couple. Yeah. They're, like actually, every, they're all like essentially two. Chinese. Well, right? well, there's actually like a, a couple decent people uh, in the UFC that are Korean. There's one guy called the Korean zombie. Oh. Because he just keeps coming. Hmm. Oh, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Next hot take. <laughs> Get go. Uh, well, do Let's you, do, do Mexit. Ho- oh, I don't Mexit? know. Mexit? Yeah, you Mexit? hear Mexit? No, it's Megan. Megan, the <coughs> royal family, the last people who got married are leaving. They're leaving the royal family? Yeah. Harry so what does and that mean? Markle? What, what does it mean to leave the royal family? What does that I mean? I don't know. They're like being Megxit. emancipated or something? Leaving yeah, their like inheritance they, like behind? Sh- yeah, yeah. I mean, they're both really fucking rich, so what does it matter to them? See, why well, I, I searched yeah, Megan. I never get either side where, because on Twitter, there's two sides. One's like, oh, good. Fucking, leave, like, fuck them, blah, 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 blah. And then the other side's like, uh, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you leaving? <laughs> does anybody care since Diana got assassinated? Does anybody care about the royal family? I don't know why people care about the royal family. Yeah, yeah, they still get like a large stipend. I heard they're running out of money. Running out of, well, I think they get some kind of they get they get. They but I don't get know what that. I don't know how they could possibly. Yeah. I don't know what that like means. The, the, like they like maybe own the UK half is. the world are used to. Yeah, I don't know. I also, I, it doesn't. What does that mean? She's they're stepping back from their duties. They have duties. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He he probably has to walk around in that. That's weird what they're doing. Because I was like, I was like, what does it mean to, what does it leave mean to exit the royal family? Yeah. And it's like I guess they're just not doing their duties. But anymore. yeah, the the thing's called Mexit or something like that. I I when I googled Mexit, <laughs> I got Messi leaving uh whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about uh, the, the old football. Yeah, the football. <laughs> uh, Mexit. What was the other thing I had? Oh, did you guys watch uh, Ricky Gervais destroy Hollywood? Uh, I watched some no. part of it. Yeah. Pretty good. That's yeah, fun. Is <laughs> it on Netflix? <laughs> no, no, no. He uh, he hosted the Golden Globes. Yeah, for like the oh. 19th time. He like yeah, but <laughs> it was his last I heard time. Somebody like mentioning something about yeah, he that, like but destroyed uh, <laughs> destroyed everybody in it. It was pretty that good. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. that's probably uh, on YouTube. I, I sometimes I sometimes because I can't draw, I picture cartoons mm. in my head. Like that would be funny to draw. And it'd be like it'd be like uh, Ricky Gervais beating a, a horse that's shaped like a Golden Globe. 
a horse that's shaped <laughs> you just like, a of that now. <laughs> yeah. like a golden globe. Like a golden globe with like legs and a horse's head yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Because he keeps beating the dead horse uh, with the golden globe. Oh, I see. Many, yeah, many I think times. it's his last time. It's like, it's like he did, this is like his fourth time or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, okay, we get it. You hate everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone sucks. <laughs> funny yeah uh, see i have i have a lot of comic ideas i can't think of any right now but i think they come to me and then they leave because i can't draw you yeah, just I can't try there i tried i tried doing uh what's the technique where your your pen doesn't leave the paper? Uh, i was trying to do that i was trying to practice that for a little while i don't know i don't remember mm. that was a long time ago do you want me to google school. it that's I like have the power yeah google it what's that technique where technique your pen yeah <laughs> where pen doesn't leave paper i'm really good at googling okay so i just watched you said that before your last finger hit the button by the way oh dang yeah just want to point that out when you're not thinking about it i yeah what we found out that i I i'm a little slower Mm. i couldn't find what it is and that is is there an r term yeah i looked it up i watched a youtube video on it subreddit Tip of my tongue. One line drawing. Continuous contour. It's drawing. honestly probably one line drawing. <laughs> Unicursal hexagram. Unicursal what? contour. There's, there's a lot of one. It doesn't seem to be one. It's probably called one line drawing. <coughs> one liner. I watched a YouTube video, so I was trying to do it. Conti- yeah. Sorry. What were you trying to draw? A face. A face. There's yeah. a very famous face. I know. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was trying to do that. Yeah. I'm not good. I'm not good at that. I'm not good no. at drawing. Well, I mean, it's very just very hard way to draw things. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first thing you when you got into art? What was your like style of drawing that you or painting? Uh, I did when you like get into it. so like there's like really simple line drawings, like as few marks as possible on a page, kind of like really old Picasso stuff. So like <coughs> like outlines of stuff or just as few marks on the page as possible. Super super minimal. Oh okay. Yeah. I like like I like that minimal art uh, where it's just like black and white, simple lines and. Hmm. Yeah, I watched. I once watched a documentary. It was about ten minutes long on white, uh, yeah, white paintings, just like block white, which are surprisingly difficult to do. What yeah. do you mean a white painting? Just pure white painting. It's hard to get it all consistent. Oh, yes, really? That's what it is. Yeah. It's, it's actually really hard to do because yeah. it's because because if Any you layer really. one over top over top, it's going to be a little darker. It what's it on? Like a white canvas too? Or is uh, it unless you use a paint roller, then it's super easy. But with right. a paintbrush, yeah. it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. What's a tip? What was it on? Canvas, like a, I think. Normally canvas. Like a white canvas. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was white. It was on like there's well, there's a whole variety of them. It was like a documentary on right this movement of white, just white block paintings. Ten minute documentary. Yeah, something like that. Sounds like an infomercial. <laughs> could have been a uh, YouTube <laughs> yeah. video. Infomercial <laughs> for white. Sounds a rare. U- could have been a random. I think it could have been a random. Uh, <laughs> like a I think, documentary. No, you on know, YouTube. I think what it was was uh, what's a really liberal paper? Narwhal. Not Narwhal. Uh, he got an argument with Sam Harris. Oh, Vox. Vox. Yeah, it was Vox. a Vox video. Yeah, yeah. It was like a nine-minute Vox video. Oh. Yeah, they do a lot of that stuff, actually. <laughs> they do interesting ones. Like, they did yeah, uh, yeah. Kanye music, or didn't they? They didn't do a Kanye music one? I don't know, but I know they had a, they had a <coughs> Netflix series of shit like that. Yeah, Little yeah. short videos of, like, different shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I have a book on the color green. It's just, like, about the history of the color green. And it sounds super boring, but it was one of the most interesting books that I've read in a long time. Oh, weird. it was really good. I read it on a plane one time. I got it at a museum gift shop when I was traveling. And it was good. There's a whole series mm. on the history of different colors, but I only got the green one. That's cool. What's yeah, green made out of? Which colors? Is yellow it green and blue. Oh, I was going to say, I thought green was a base color. No. 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 You would yeah. be wrong. <laughs> Red, yellow, and blue. That's why I'm asking this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dolt. Yeah, who's the dolt oh. now? <laughs> yeah. Just hit myself in the face, too. <laughs> what what, what <laughs> did you say? Some. Yellow and blue? Uh, Red, yellow, and <laughs> Blue, yeah. Red, yellow. Oh, red, yellow, and blue. Yeah. Those oh, are the, three of the them. primary we'll, colors. We'll fact check that Interesting. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cast D. Uh, I, if you ask if you ask a scientist, it'd be green instead of blue because light works different than pigment. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, light, well, light's, it's reflecting everything but green. Mm. Oh, no, it's, no, no, works, no. no. It's absorbing everything and reflecting green. That's how it works. So, like, that color, know. what's that, brown? So it's it's absorbing all the Kinda colors green, except for brown. It, it's browns. It's reflecting brown into my eyes. So colors are actually opposite. It's it contains the That's colors. That's because reality is uh, <coughs> surreal, fictional, fake. Not real. I was read. I, <laughs> what was it? Reality is a simulation, evolutionary simulation. Uh, I was reading some book about this. Did I explain the simulation theory on our first episode? Never. Yeah, aired? yeah. But this is different. This is the yeah, idea yeah, yeah. that like. 
evolution got us a way to view everything right that's not actually there is just useful for us to view it this way yeah well it's like it's there but you know what i'm saying yeah it's like not, what you're it's saying not, about the light yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah like there's nothing in there that's green right it's actually in my eye right right right, right, right. It just helped me see it it's right. actually absorbing all the other colors that are not green or brown or whatever right right, right right yeah and that's why know. black gets hottest because it absorbs all the he colors there's no color he doesn't care and that's why white. You just take the green. And that's why I don't know about science. And I that's why pictures. white. That's why white is the 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 least warm color to wear, because it's reflecting all the colors. That makes sense. Yeah. Why not? Oh, that yeah. is true. And actually, black, right? Everybody black says absorbs them all. Black. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Science. I just thought black was heavier. <coughs> Have you heard the uh, simulation? Yeah. I don't. Before? I don't. I don't. Doesn't matter to me. I don't care if it's a simulation or not. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter, I guess. No. Yeah. Can't control well, it. It would be so kind of cool, though, to find out if we were in a simulation. I think it would drive me nuts if I found out it was actually a simulation. Like you couldn't get out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. want out. But out of what? Yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> you're like, well, what? you're also contained this know. weird thing I would, called I'd the universe. I'd probably also just like, yeah. whatever. Doesn't, That's true. It doesn't matter. No, I but if it was like it Matrix, easily. kind of, where you just, you couldn't pull yourself out. But you knew you were like somewhere in a bed. Man. Yeah, yeah, That'd yeah. drive me nuts. I mean, for all we know, it could be the truth. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. I don't know. Who doesn't matter? It doesn't anyways. matter to me anyways. <laughs> Joe, Joe, so, I, so I watched Joe Rogan had his 10 years in like Joe Rogan area and he had, this, I, he had this theory called the fart theory. And it's like how if you, uh, it's a really dumb way of looking at it, but mm. how we, we have this thing called sense of smell. Right. Right. And if it just wasn't there, like you could just not have it. And then there's this whole particles floating smell thing that you would never know existed. And he has a theory that there's way more senses. That we don't, can't smell. Yeah. They're not that you can't smell, but that oh. you can't experience because you don't have the I think that kind of makes sense to me. But that is it true, isn't sense. it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You would think so. There, yeah. There's got to be other things. Isn't there other smell. dimensions that we can't see? <coughs> there's got to be like more time than we can sense one we with can't their five see, senses. Right. right. Yeah. There's, there's, there's got to be. be. 100%. Yeah. There is one argument I was, I was watching, and I'm way too stupid to understand what, what they meant by this. Right. But that they were saying that reality is actually 2D. But we just experience it in 3D, and that's why gravity. That's why gravity, everything pulls it down because it's it's a flat surface. So like when we touch something that's not on a flat surface, <laughs> that's our imagination. I don't yeah, know how would that work. I, that's what I mean. I don't get how, what what they mean by that. Mm. But it, like they're explaining gravity, and so the way gravity works is if you imagine like a bed sheet, right? Right. And right. you put like a heavy ball in the bed sheet, in the middle mm. of the bed sheet, and then there's something on the side of the bed sheet. The thing will start rolling towards the middle, right? Because it's bending space time. This sounds like some flat Earth science. So. Yeah, I don't know if it's bending space time. I think that's gravity. No, that's what I'm saying. Gravity is. I'm explaining gravity. I'm saying gravity is like right. if you have a sheet right. and you put a ball in the middle, the the heaviness of the ball bends space time, which is the sheet, and it will make everything roll towards the middle. I, I don't understand. You don't understand? No. No, I understand what you're saying, <laughs> but I don't. I don't understand why that means. That we're 2D. Yeah, because that's I'm a still 2D stuck surface, on like right? Because the only way that works is if it's a flat. It doesn't work in a circle. But, but, so for that to work, I'm I'm presenting a, a sheet which is a 2D surface. Right. Right. But and then you're changing it with the ball. Right. It's bending that 2D surface. Right. So yep. then, how is it still 2D if it's bent? You're trying to explain science I don't understand, but yeah. they were they were explaining it, and I was like, I don't the, get how that's another one of those ten minute documents. <laughs> prove science. <laughs> E, well, they're proving it by like the bending of space time and the f the flatness right. of space seems seems to suggest the world is two D. But it, they seem to be like like who it, said it this? To like a like, credible person said this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This like a, a, it was a theory a, for sure. It was in a video called uh, Gravity Explained. These are very cool videos. But Gravity right. Explained at five levels. So this theoretical physicist explains it to a child, then a teenager. Then a grad student or a university student. Oh, I think then I've a grad heard of student, this. then yeah, a yeah, professional. Yeah. Right, right. And then when they're talking to a professional, they're like, "Well, then it seems to imply that that actually the universe is two D." And then they're like, "Then that would be really blow the minds of everyone." And they're like, they're kind of like more philosophizing at this point, mm -hmm. right. like high, really high end, right, right, right. Uh, hypothetical science. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which well, that's why I said it preface by saying I don't really understand what they're talking about. Right. right. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds very confusing. And some, yeah, 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 yeah. Like there's a good there's it. a good comment that was like. Uh, at the fifth level, at some point, they just seem to be flirting with science. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my impression of it too. Like, are you sure you're really yeah, serious? Yeah, they just seem to be just saying cool things that are just like yeah. now they're just having fun like little kids. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, like what cool if theories. what if what if it's this? What if it's that? Yeah. 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 If you're gonna say big words, it sounds like it's. 
<laughs> like it would confuse yeah, me. Yeah, but what does dolt like, mean? Oh, must be true. Yeah. <laughs> dolt. That's not a word. Must be real. <laughs> Another hot take. Go. Uh, what is it? No, this is not a hot take, but what does oh. Alexa look like? Ooh, she, well, she's white, I think. You think she's white? I think so. You hear that voice? That's a white voice, I think. Mm. I don't Should actually Should we listen know. to it? Not Korean. I think she looks like a Terminator robot. You think she looks like a robot? I Terminator a robot. Well, I picture a woman. But not isn't a Terminator robot? Oh, oh, you mean oh. without skin? Yeah, I see right through her fucking fake human <laughs> Oh, like you just see, oh, you just see like a metal. Yeah, she's fake. Oh, I she's see. She's not a person. She looks like a robot. She is a robot. But I feel like I picture a girl when I think of Alexa. Wait, play Alexa right now. I don't know. Yeah, I have like Alexa. for <laughs> those things. Let's just see. Let me try. She'll, if I she think was she's a Asian. <laughs> yeah, she might be Asian. I think she's Asian, right? Not Korean. I feel like she's no, not Korean Japanese. Like a school teacher or something. A school teacher. Yeah, Ooh. she sounds kind of like b- over it. She's just like, yeah, very <laughs> deadpan, <laughs> flat, <laughs> like <laughs> whatever. So, what does she look one. like? You think? <laughs> well, like a stereotype. Uh, I think she's probably like. I'm picturing her with like short curly hair. Short curly hair. Yeah. Eh? I thought short curly. I saw very straight. Cur- I saw very straight yeah. yeah, I saw very straight. Yeah. I'm picturing her like a what you would imagine. I like, like this a version, Kindergarten though. teacher in the 70s would look like. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> is she is she skinny or a little plump? No, she'd be skinny. She's 70s. Still, <laughs> 70s are a little plump. Yeah. That, that they, was that was the ideal body was a little. Oh bit yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. I would yeah, say yeah. like like Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn yeah, Monroe-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. bit of plump, yeah. Or like maybe like a like an old now, school though. secretary or something like just right. somebody who's just like, uh, like line one like she's like, got mm. hairs like in a ball behind her head. Yeah, wearing mm. like a headset. Really, mm. just want to switch. She seems too futuristic. See, I pick and very like hair, uh, yeah. I see very like the silver suit that zips up all the way, and yeah. she's like very straight hair, and she moves like in this. the silver suit. Tyler, can you see her nipples? <laughs> no, you can't. No. I would say yes because if she's at this point in the future, suits. women just had their breasts removed. Oh, so she's flat chested. Flat chested. Oh, interesting. Yep. Oh, interesting. So she's very androgynous. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's hear another voice. Yeah, go ahead. Here's the next event. It is in progress. She's a little chipper during that. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's like a different tone yeah. of voice. Is he more white? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much more white. <laughs> she lost she that uh, Japanese white tone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, white yeah, accent yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, because she seemed more Asian in the first one, and this one she seemed yeah, more yeah. white. She seemed bored in the first one, like kind of drained. Yeah, like she was very annoyed with his question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's. You know what I want to do is I want to let's look up Siri. No, no, no. Like, we're gonna look up Siri, but I want to let's look up of a, a voice, someone's voice, like a random woman's voice. Yeah. And then you guys are gonna try and describe the okay, woman. Okay, let's do and it. And then we're gonna see. Here we go. Yeah. And them. I'm really good at this. I'm actually this typing random fun. woman. I do this like often. Every second Wednesday, <laughs> I think I meet up. It's gonna be fun because I do this on screen. <laughs> oh, okay, Let's here we go. Club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this video is called Infowars pulls video after random woman trolls them to perfection. <laughs> I think I've seen this video. Have so you? So I think I know what the girl looks oh, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. a white girl. Dang it. What is she wearing? Uh, I don't remember. She has long, straight hair, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have seen. This I have seen this. Video. It's Kyle Kalinsky. Yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah Kyle yeah. Kalinsky. Yeah. Okay. We gotta find. Oh, here we go. Here we go. World boss comedy lets a random woman into his car. Okay. Okay. Go. Okay, we'll put it closer. Okay, I think I got what I think. Yeah? We might be thinking the same thing. Maybe, that'd be interesting. I'm thinking very like white trash looking. Yeah, me like too, kind she's of. She's missing like a tooth somewhere. I don't know about that. I think she's probably fake tanned. <laughs> oh, okay. We're thinking very different, actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fake mm. tan, like ah. oval face, maybe. I bet she's got like heavy eyelids. Okay. See, I'm seeing. I'm thinking like very like trailer almost. Mm-hmm. 
where she kind of got in. The British, the, the hard thing was British. The British right? just yeah. so throws hard. it wrong. That really yeah, throws it off. I was not expecting that to be British, but. Which so how like. wrong are we? Yeah. Uh, I think Tyler pretty close. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Tyler pretty close. Uh, yeah, not at all you, what man. I was thinking. No. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> it's like when you go every <laughs> Wednesday, the practices. <laughs> I've been guessing yeah. people what they look like. Like I said, man, it's a good I'm going to take a screenshot of this because this is a good image. I like yeah. guessing people's names when I see them in a room. Like, they look oh. like uh, I really Steve. like, you know what I like doing was if I'm in a restaurant or something and I see a couple, I like try to guess how long they've been together. Yeah. <laughs> or like if they're on, like, I bet you they're on a first date. Yeah, yeah for first sure date first or date. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do it all the time. <laughs> That was a weird game. <laughs> it's a fun game. <laughs> that was a fun game. <laughs> All right. Champ right here. Do you want to move to a more serious topic? Yeah, go. So me and Tyler were having this argument. How do you get an ought? So science. Oh, here we go. There's a very famous person oh, fuck. named <laughs> Sam Harris. Who I make pictures. Who believes. <laughs> who believes <laughs> I don't who know if he's going to like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's more. It's, no, it's going to be more a question. I'll give my two cents. I actually yeah, yeah. asked you about. I asked you this is the only serious question. Oh, okay. <clears throat> But uh, he's got Sam Harris has this idea that you can get ought from ises so that you can well, more like that it doesn't science. matter what ought yeah. from ises so, so so you can get moral systems from science yeah basically that's you, it you okay. get an ought from an is what I you see. ought to do okay. from what there is yeah okay right. um uh I disagree mm. I think there I think you have to assume an ought and then you get your ises but he says that that's his argument is that you assume well being. Yeah, he, I haven't it's read it. A, I haven't read it, but, yeah, it, but read it's it. that's every science, like like a health, for example, assumes yeah. health is good. Right. Right? Well, so you, there's, a, there's an ought in every science. I, th- mm. I, I think I agree with you. I don't think that science can do yeah. that. I think yeah. it, it's, it would be impossible to get specific enough criteria. Mm-hmm. Like you could probably go in the right direction, but like you would inevit- inevitably, be, inevitably be ignoring other important things that you wouldn't think of. Or like it's so individualistic <laughs> that you couldn't really... Right. Determine what will be good from right. scientific criteria. Yeah, but then try to apply that to health. Health like is y- different than morals, though, right? I don't think so. Like, well, so what, what are you well, defining? So like, what are you defining well, morality? So here's, here's, yeah. So yeah. Here, yeah. what would you define? What would you define your moral system? I kind of think of it as like how you interact with the world and like how you treat other people. Right. Right. So, so like, do you do you inter- do you act for like fairness right. and compassion? Right. Or do you act from like <coughs> self centeredness and right, right. Period. So, That's so would you that. would you agree with the statement that that your moral system should be based on maximizing well being for everyone? Yeah, it's a very nuanced question. I don't know. It's hard to. Hard but that, to that's for basically everyone? his premise. I yeah, his I premise is if you start there, science can lead you. Well, to his, that. no, his, no. His premise is actually one back. Is that if you really if you really nail down what people think of morality. Well, that's they, what they're they, talking about. They yeah, almost yeah. all seem to agree right. that it should be maximizing well-being. Right. Yeah. Right. But who is well-being? I mean, that's that's true. Balancing but your own. There's going to be other, other be, people's. Yeah. Like, it depends on how much you right. care about somebody. Or sure. like, yeah. Or but maybe he, he like, talks about so that he says that there's peaks and valleys. But th- so the idea that he says is that just existing alone, we can all agree that there's like there's a reality where we're all suffering, right? Because we have this experience, <laughs> right? Where we're all just miserable. And so if we know that, then we know that there's this. Now, the in-between is all these peaks and valleys, right? We all have different yeah. whatever, so you acknowledge yeah. that. But you're just working to try s- – you're working towards trying to maximize it for everybody. Yeah. And that's the premise. You start there, and then s- his idea is that science could lead you to yeah, that. Yeah, everyone, everyone would agree that it's maximizing the most amount of well-being. Right. And then people who would disagree most generally would agree that person has a tainted view of morality. Right. I feel like the Generally. one thing that pops into my head that I think is might be missing from that <coughs> is like error. So if you mm-hmm. are like if you nail things down to a set of criteria and you make a mistake, are you then immoral? Mm-hmm. Because you have to have that like it's a compassion piece. You have to have compassion right. for people who make mistakes, including yourself. So if yeah. you like have this perfect system of how to be mm-hmm. ultimately moral and right. you don't live up to that, I don't think that means that you're an immoral person. Therefore, I don't think that that's a legitimate no. system. No, but like for intention matters for sure. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. think, I don't think, I don't think immoral acts make immoral people. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah. I, I think for sure, like yeah. intention matters for sure. Not even yeah. intention, just e- even intentionally immoral acts doesn't make an immoral person. Well, it's like no, yeah, valleys sure. and it's a long, <coughs> long yes. arc yeah, yeah, of your whole sure. entire life sure. from the day you're born sure. to the t- day you die. I, th- I think the only thing that he was arguing was that it's pointless to be to even say well 
all we know is that we're existing and we know that we could either right. be have a desirable state or an undesirable state. Every individual. Right. So we know we have that. Right. Right? And it seems like we want we desire to have a more desirable state. Right. There's no point of arguing, well, should you want that? Mm-hmm. That's the idea. What's the right. what's the point of even talking uh, about that? Yeah, yeah. He, right. It's it's like arguing you wouldn't argue in health. Should, we, should you be should healthy? We, yeah. we, should we be healthy? Like you could. You could argue. You could have a you conversation. You could argue that it's that it's but, no, there's humans should be all dead. It just seems Well, people choose to be unhealthy all the time for <laughs> right, the, right. for other right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. But I mean but the science of medicine yeah. is more uh, saying is, right. is, is is the goal of making people healthier. Right. Yeah. So the science of morality would be the goal of making people so it, so it shouldn't be called. So it's like psychological health, kind yeah, of. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like it's yeah. kind of like reestablishing what moral reality means. It's not good or right. bad, but maximizing well-being. well-being. Yeah. Right. So it's starting from the premise, the same premise that medicine <coughs> is. Medicine starts from you should maximize health. Yeah. Right. Now morality should start from the premise you should maximize well-being. well-being. Right. Right. I mean, I think everybody should do their best, <coughs> but I don't know. Yeah. It's a huge, huge, huge question. It's yeah. like it's like trying to. Cr- cr- trying to create criteria for that would be like building a human brain. Like, mm-hmm. there's just too much going on. I think. Yeah, yeah I, I think I think I think what you where you're getting into trouble is that the the scientific system is just trying to tell you what you ought to do. The same way, not that health, you have to do. Not it. that you have to. Do. Same mm-hmm. way, health. Right? There's a lot of things for health and medicine. Well, yeah. But a lot of people don't do them. Like, right. I think it can tell you what you ought to do in like certain very specific yeah. circumstances. But right. for like any anything complex, I don't think. I don't. Well, I don't. I don't know. I can't. I can't understand how it would mm-hmm. be able to do that. I mean, like, maybe, let's use an example. Is there any, I <laughs> well, let's use an example. example and I, yeah, have, yeah. I have a very okay, good go one. Ahead. Go ahead. Vegetarianism, right? If you're if you're in the maximizing well being right. of sentient creatures, mm-hmm. you seems to be that you ought right to not murder them for food, mm-hmm. right? Right. It seems mm-hmm. very clear actually. Mm-hmm. If you if you just if if you just put it in in a system of, well, I don't really. It doesn't really hurt my well-being that much. There's very right. little difference in my well-being right. to not murder an animal. Right. Very high suffering and hurting of their well-being right. to die. Yeah, yeah that would well, be... So, well, that mathematically, would be the <coughs> it <coughs> seems like you ought to right. not eat meat. So, so what if <coughs> just you made like a surreal yeah. uh, universe where sure. we had to eat meat? Yeah. Then is this it moral? One? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, no, there have been times to. in the past where we did have to, and it wasn't as much moral yeah. then as it is no, now. No, but let's just say we, yeah, right. we died. Right. Like, right. just thought experiment. We died if we didn't eat meat. Right. Is it uh, immoral to kill for that? I would say, so. That, yeah, then it gets tough, right? Then you're like, because you have then, to balance. Because then, then the well-being of well-being. us, or is it the yeah, well-being of everything? So that's, 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 so here, then you get into a tricky part with with this scientific idea of turning ought from is this. Right. Because then you get into, well, how much is my well-being supersede other people's well-being that's what mm. i was getting at too because like right m- wanting to put animals well-being as counting animals well-being means that you're also <coughs> applying a certain sense of morality and like worth on that part to the animal yeah so it's recognize the animal of like being worthy of that right, right. So which, then, which you do you do and you can see it every every day but then you then but then yeah. you're like on a larger level what a uh, what level yeah. like like when does it start and end like if you if you were someone was to go up to you and be like hey i'm just gonna sh- go shoot a, a thousand cows in the head Right horrifying. in front of you, yeah. right. and then you're gonna have the steak. Right, probably you're gonna, you're gonna be like, well, no, I probably won't pick the steak. steak. Yeah, yeah. Probably wouldn't take the steak. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. so there's a level, right? So there's a yeah, clear yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. So why is there not that moral consistency, or like, what? Why does that level maybe break we down? We need the science of morality. That's what I think trying to do. People maybe think that because, <laughs> like, if we're gonna apply morality to animals and humans, like animals eat other animals. <laughs> right. I think that's often like. Yeah. Do we stop animals from eating other? Well, animals? Well, that's like the non-vegetarian, like the very strict adamant meat eaters yeah. argument is like animals eat animals and that's the way it is but like i don't know that they really have a choice in that because they're evolved to be that way and we yeah. are evolved like we can definitely it's, be, live long and healthy lives without ever eating meat. it's it's a right. that's a maybe the most silly argument you could possibly come up yeah. with because we're literally talking about moral systems mm-hmm. which animals do not have so right. we're like we're like th- with the very fact that we're talking about ethical systems right. is like the, then you us. don't need to talk about what animals do because right, they don't right. have ethical. Like systems. I eat meat and right, I try right. to eat less yeah. meat. Well, to be honest with you, but like <laughs> I, I, I as, even though I eat meat, I yeah. can't I can't logically argue against vegetarianism. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't do it. So it's a very 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 selfish thing the, to eat meat for sure. The best the best argument for like vegetarianism or veganism is the moral one. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, the, well, there's a second one even, but it's I guess it's still moral. Is that that it's a single 
biggest impact you can make on climate change as mm -hmm. an individual. Right. Yeah. Which, is, which is a very big one too. Right. Now, the only one I get a little stuck on is that I was having some physical issues after six years or five years. Of I can't remember. I five did it for a year. And you I did, did it for a year? Yeah, and I didn't yeah. feel great. I felt, I felt great the whole time, and then I was getting some joint issues. That was it. Right. And yeah. you fixed that by just adjusting your diet? Within three days, the, the joint issues went away of, of eating meat again. Very, very strange. I don't know what it was. Uh, I, and I don't know if it's it like collagen. There's not a lot of collagen in vegetables. I have no idea because I tried to get all, eat all supplements, vitamin Bs, uh, right, right. whatever, whatever I was missing. I had creatine supplements. Yeah, I don't know. Stuff you can only get in meats. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. No Weird. idea. And I thought maybe it was a, I was eating so much bread, but I've started eating a lot of bread too, and the, the joint issues didn't really come back. Yeah. So I don't know. I have no idea. And yeah. I, it, it's maybe that I just ran out of something that you can only find in meat, and they don't because health science is not or uh, nutritional science is not very well understood. No. So there might be just something I ran out at all. eventually. And because yeah. I'm very active with rock climbing and it only started happening with rock climbing. Right. That it was just starting to wear on my joints and then something right. was not lubricating them enough or something. Yeah. Very strange. I don't know. So, so I don't the know. The moral I, one for me is the big one. I cannot like, cause, cause I try and be ethically consistent with what I believe is the right thing to do. Right. Uh, and I know the right thing to do is joint issues, not a huge deal or maybe just eat meat every once in a while and then go back. It's probably the better right. thing. Limited. It's very limited. Yeah. But I went all out. I'm just now I'm just a regular eater. It doesn't <laughs> do anything, right? But so I need to I need to adjust back right. to some kind of because like there's a good quote where like don't let perfect be the enemy of the good. Yeah. I right? I think that's very important. Yeah. It's better to try than to not try. Yeah, at all. to at least limit right. or yeah. contain or you know, once a week or twice a week you you go no meat. Yeah, if everybody yeah, did that, that it would make a sure. huge, huge, 100%. huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. even if everybody just decided Sundays nobody eats meat, that'd make yeah. a massive difference. Nobody. Yeah. Well I'm just saying if you're bad it was like it was like a <laughs> it'd be like a rotating system. Yeah. Like you get eat meat on Monday, you yeah, get why on not? Tuesday. Yeah. Everybody eats turkey on thanksgiving well a lot of people at least it'd be fun if just have if a day just, where nobody if you just meat. broke it down by gender <laughs> <laughs> they can eat meat on sundays oh. <laughs> <laughs> or they can't eat meat on sundays males right females but then when you need like 70 different types of days to figure that out no you then you have a no no then you have a well, third day for what are you for, talking about for, sex for non non uh, binary oh i don't know yeah, i think you, you need day. more days than that there's a big spectrum i think if everybody just does like Whatever, pick whatever own individual day yeah, they yeah. want, and that would be. Well, no, less couldn't you just do a third day for non? You're just you're not you're not one of those two. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like gender's funny because it's kind of like sexuality. Yeah. So there's people that are like totally straight, and there's people that are totally gay, and there's a whole spectrum in the middle. Gender identity yeah, yeah. is kind of similar, so you can, I don't know if you can break it down into just three. But so if everybody, but is it similar? I don't know if it's similar to that. Uh, it like, is could could we just agree that like? Well, I'm not saying I'm right. Like, so don't. I'm just like trying to compare because like we have sex, male and female, and then there's like sexuality. There's this like flow that it goes in between. Yeah. Couldn't gender just be the same thing that there's a flow in between? But why do they have to be? It's identity. It's not right, biology. Right, right. So the same thing with like, like yeah, sexuality. It's no, yeah, identity and not biology. No, it's how you. Well, you know, you did make a good point that you said it was it's like sexuality. Right. And sexuality. I would say I have some small bisexual portion in me. Right. Very small. Yeah, we've talked about this. We've talked about it, yeah. right? But it's, it's it's there, yeah, for sure. And uh, but you, you just you you'd still be on one of the there'd be yeah, three. Yeah, can you just there'd just be three, right? Right. Well, it's I still, think it's still like honestly, like if there were three, there'd be way way few. There, like everybody would be in the middle. Like ninety percent of the people would be <coughs> in the middle if everybody was super honest with right. themselves. I think so. Like, I don't yeah. think it makes sense to have three. Well, not yeah. really though. Yeah. Like, I feel like most people identify with either male or female. Like most people, like not in my experience, but I've like you would you would you would say weird, less so. than fifty percent of people just identify as male or female. Uh, yeah. Well, not identify as male male or female, but like yeah. strictly would. Well, I'm I guess say like right. if we're just There'd talking about roles, yeah, I'm sure that changes or whatever. Yeah, I think but I'm thinking about roles. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking yeah. about roles. You're I'm just thinking gender roles. How, yeah, yeah. I'm oh. just saying oh. kind like, of identity. Yeah, which, I'm just thinking of like what who you, you identify yeah, as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. Like, why yeah. does that have to be so many different? Why can't that just be a spectrum? Yeah, it seems like it seems like I would I'd, I'm fine with breaking the, the gender roles. Fine, yeah, completely fine. I'm just I just think that if you broke it down to three, if somebody tried to break it down to three, there'd be mm -hmm. fucking hell to pay. Well, yeah. now maybe, yeah, for sure. Because I think I think that's what's getting mixed up, right? There are people who have who have body dysmorphia, yep. uh, right. 
which is different than a being clinical like transgender. mental yeah. issue right, that yeah, it yeah. has a very clear solution, which mm-hmm. is uh, transitioning. Mm-hmm. Or for well, some people, not for everyone. The yeah. People are different. Some people are different. Um, and then there's also someone who just doesn't uh, uh, conform to gender norms. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know why those two get lumped in together. Those are just different things. To me, one's, right. one's a disorder that, ha- right. that, that has... Uh, you can see why disorder. Ju- it is a disorder until wow. you get the. It's a disorder until you get the. Yeah, I guess. I guess if you gender, look at it that way, like intervention, right? Or yeah, I mean, the, it's like isn't it a mental thing? Like if you feel. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a disorder. Head, it's, right? it's 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 body dysmorphia. You feel like you're in the wrong body. Right. Right. That's right. a disorder. Okay, yeah. So it would be a mental be, thing, right? Yeah, I think you're, like I think the treatment is fixing it, like becoming the gender. It's not a disorder to be right. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, no, no. But body dysmorphia is exactly. Okay, it's a prior. Disorder. Yes. Yeah. Right. It's not, right, right. I think. I think that's where people get. Yeah. Mixed up. I mean, it's kind of like for all kinds of other things. If you yeah. like, you can be really dissociative <laughs> of your own identity given a lot of circumstances, and then once you fix it, then you reassociate with who you are, and it's fixed. Because right. to, to me, trans maybe the 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 movement or the desire to be accepted, it almost gets robbed by people who are just breaking gender norms. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like it almost yeah. gets stolen that the stolen well, valor a little bit because it's like yeah. oh, you, you just you just want to you just don't want to be one whatever, of the two. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is not the same. Right, right, right. right. They're going through a, a, a very hard, difficult, very hard mental anguish yeah. over their and, and then, it's you, like and then you just kind of want to work societal like constructs because like it's everybody's yeah. super super selfish and everybody wants to be a part of anything like right. as a gay man for example that's not it's not this way anymore but in like the nineties and early two thousands I remember <laughs> you'd go to gay bars and there'd people who'd want to be there to like be cool or like <coughs> particularly like women or young women would go to a bar and like i'm bisexual it's like right well, i've never seen you make out with a woman they're like yeah but i right. am it's like but are you because you never like i'm not saying you have to it's not a criteria yeah. to do that right but like i couldn't i couldn't i don't know if a lot of people like some of them of course but i don't know if all of them could completely justify like but it'd be like me saying plan. i am bisexual which one i'm probably not yeah but it'd be like me saying i'm bisexual yeah but like sometimes i think sometimes i have like right, vaguely right, 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 sexual right. thoughts about women but i would never do anything about right it. So, so that's kind of so, like yeah. my so, reverse it's yeah. like yeah i've <coughs> it's it's crossed my mind or it's kind of like i've made out with men right but i yeah. would never have had sex but so with i think a man. you're like saying the same thing with the reverse with the with the gender thing is that it's like it's it's, it's, it's getting really hot right now to just not be male or female so i'm just going to be people just seem to be making it, words well, up because it's, it's kind of like taking away from like you said yeah, trans people so, yeah. so, it's, so it's like it's like you can express <coughs> yourself and you should be able to express yourself yeah, do whatever conforming you want to gender norms sure but that's not the same thing it's I not think. being trans that's yeah right, right, and right, i think right, that's right. i think mixed. i think it's i think it's it's almost like stealing the thunder of what they are going they're trying to do yeah, yeah yeah not what they're trying to do but what they're what they're actually going yeah, to do but like right. they're they have they're valid in their feelings they're valid in their identity yeah but they like they it's sort of not fair that they're because they're, ch- they're they have their own challenges and stuff but it's sure. nothing compared to what actual trans people go through right so to right. piggyback on that struggle right is not really fair right like they have their own thing and it's valid but like it's not they're not getting like murdered yeah often, right, know, right. i would like to much. i would like to talk to someone who's non-binary or just doesn't acc- the crew yeah, to a certain get, like, a trans person I, on the show yeah, yeah, it yeah. Out. well i really want to get uh lauren warnke who's uh, who's uh who's a uh, a friend um, he, do you know who he is? He, no. He's he's a very famous uh, psychologist uh, or psychiatrist. I think he's a doctor. Right. Uh, at U of A, and he just retired. One of the most famous um, trans therapists, mm. the one first in Alberta. He actually did it at the Grey Nuns, which is that very would interesting. Be the perfect yeah, be person to talk about this. He's a beautiful. Be very man. interesting. He, yeah, he's a beautiful man. He let yeah. me use his uh, condo. Yeah. Um, That'd be cool. Get well, that, that guy on years ago. The trans experience and training and like <coughs> everything surrounding it. That would be yeah. perfect if it's like to get a better perspective and understanding of this right. topic. Yeah, and I would like a, a non-binary person to explain the the difficulties of being that, or or, or if there are, or, or kind of what that means to them. Because right, right. I'm not really sure what what exactly that means. If it yeah. is just you're just not accruing to gender norms, or you just don't. Which I which which I think in a lot of ways a lot of people are just non-binary. Totally. Yeah, because well, yeah. like, I, I think I actually think if you if you do say you just don't hold all the gender norms. That's, That's fine. 99% like, yeah, yeah. of the population. I don't identify as non-binary, but yeah. like every once in a while, I'll wear like makeup when I go out at night or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. not like yeah. just makeup, like makeup, makeup. Right, like right, not right. full, you know what I mean? Just right. like, and that's d- definitely not conforming, but right. I'm also like not non-binary. But if you were just to do that, you shouldn't be 
part a struggle. That shouldn't be a str- your struggle is you. Yeah, you're not but you make a struggle right? by you make it like I feel right. like they make their own. Not I don't. Want, but you're <laughs> making a struggle. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't want to get in trouble, but y- it almost seems like if you're gonna put yourself in a box where well, no, now I have to yeah. do this. You're like making it a bigger deal to just not have gender norms than it is sometimes. I don't know. I f- I yeah, don't know. I I will say this. I'm I'm I'm. More ignorant than I'd like to be, and I'd sure. love to talk to somebody sure. on mm. non, on specifically on non non-binary and what that means. But question for you, because I actually just found out you're gay now. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you big in the community? I mean, I Tall. don't even know what that means. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> physically. Yeah. Uh, I just mean because because uh, uh, since all this kind of like picked up a lot of speed, mm-hmm. there, there's been a lot of like disconnect community. So the whole pride parade thing had to like fall apart right. with all this intersectionality yeah. and everybody. Well, Kinda. that's a whole separate thing, but I'll give you my perspective on the community. So sure. when I was younger, <laughs> I, I did face a lot of adversity for it. Like I struggled 100%. a lot. Like they just really rough. didn't. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. And because of that, the community is something. Uh, it's like a group of people who've been through something similar for the same reasons. Right. So you find those people and they can be like that is definitely being in the community. As I've gotten older, I've grown as a person and I still really like... I'll always be grateful for those people that caught me when I fell like that. Right. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, always yeah, be grateful. I'll <laughs> always be grateful for the, for the people that were there for me in the community when I was younger. Right. But it's like anybody when you make friends when you're young yeah. and that's your community, and then you you know you grow up and your life changes. <laughs> for sure. And now like it's like it's more like a scene now, and not a community. Like right. So a lot, there's a community, but my community is like people that I love and the people in my life. Mm-hmm. So a few. It's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think it's important that there is a community community. Yeah, for uh, sure. And of course, like I'll always be a part of that in one way right. or another. Like we're all it's like a family that's not related. Like we all have something right. in common. Yeah, yeah. But a like, commonality that you guys Yeah, but I mean through. it's not it's yeah. I where don't do know. you think that do you maybe you don't have an opinion on it, but where the disconnect happened? Or uh, not this maybe I'm using the wrong word because it I don't know if you heard the whole pride parade thing. That it happened like fell apart and from my from my understanding. That happened because uh, the there was an old pride committee that's like they're all gay, lesbian, whatever, uh, but they're old white people mm. a, in Edmonton. And then the younger generation is becoming more diverse, and they're mm. looking for more representation, particularly uh, people of color, um, like Black Lives Matter, Edmonton. Um, there's a lot of gay and queer people of who identify along the spectrum of all genders and uh, uh, sexual identities. Mm-hmm. And the old guard of the Pride Parade was like they're just they want to do things the same way they've always done. They like right. Pride started out yeah. as a protest and they just want it to be a party. But then these young people started coming up and they're like, hey, like there's still a big struggle and like right. we want to be represented under this blanket <laughs> of queerness. Like the Pride Parade should be. Um, so that everybody under the queer rainbow can like be represented and mm-hmm. they weren't being represented. So they started to disrupt what was mm-hmm. happening. Right. Um, and then it was, there was a blow up because of that. And the people that were organizing it were like, fine, if you're going to disrupt it, we're just not going to do it. But one of the things that is really distressing about that that happened is uh, the old guard of the old, old white people uh, tried to like they literally locked the doors and blocked out oh, uh, heard younger people yeah, who yeah, yeah. were trying to like mm-hmm. come make, get them to listen. Mm. And for something for a group that's supposed to be really accepting and welcoming and like mm-hmm. open to those things, like that, that was pretty bad. And they actually called the police on them, which is fucked. Right. right. So that's why Pride was canceled this right. year. Right. Right. Year. Yeah. I, I, that's pretty much the story that I heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't know where where I struggle with is I don't know. Um, well, I don't know anything because I'm not part of the community. But uh, we had I have some clients that were um, not my client. Maybe I shouldn't say actually, but. Uh, from what I heard, it was, uh, there was a big problem of like, um, one side was getting a little too mm, excited. There was a lot of anger, race, anger involved. Well, race was a def, race was a legitimate part of it that (laughs) one side wanted to deal with because it affected them and one side didn't want to deal with because it doesn't affect them. Right. 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 right, right. And that's true. Race is a legitimate part of. Yeah. 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 Of a, yeah. of a day-to-day struggle. And I think mm-hmm. that's where the police... Like, we would in, never right? understand what that's like because we're of yeah, the yeah. most privileged race on the planet. Like, we can't... Yeah. I can't... under Like, I've faced adversity because of, I'm gay, but I've never faced adversity because I'm not white. Like, I don't right. know what that's like. Right, I, when right, other right. people tell me what it's like, all, all we can do is listen to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the old guard of the Pride Committee failed at their job. Like, dealing, dealing right. with police 
is I don't know what that's like. Like, I mean, like in a negative way. Right. I, I don't generally feel that, like any kind of stress or anything. No. I, like I, you'd never, you're never going to get carded randomly walking down the street. Yeah. I was once high out of my mind and I was drinking a beer on the street on my birthday and yeah. a cop went, <laughs> pulled me over and he went, and he went, uh, pulled me over. I'm drinking a beer. I'm holding a stack of beers. Right. <laughs> I am not sober in any capacity. I'm on different things. Right. And he's, he goes, he goes, you high, son? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just nervous. He's like, all right, move along. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that could have gone very, very differently. Yeah. Because, I don't know, we all know why. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, it could have gotten lots of trouble. But yep. the point is, I, I have no struggle in that area. And I think because I've generally white i'm metis but i but right, i right. generally present as white yeah, yeah. yeah and i think Same. one of the main reasons <laughs> yeah. why like, like the, my dad's not white one of yeah, the points yeah. of contention for the pride parade is because uh, a lot of people didn't want the police involved for that exact reason because the right. police are fine to some people but not fine to right. others and like we should all be sticking together and if one person is <laughs> if one person isn't free none of us are free so right. but do you they think they're just abandoning people right do you think that because there's probably police that are gay yeah, for sure. Right. Of course, sir. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so there's probably like police of color that are gay, but in general, it, it, like it, we're yeah. talking about Edmonton it's an here. In, yeah, yeah. Institutional thing. It's not, yeah. a, it's not a three or four people thing. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. It's right, the way right. the whole system is. Yeah. Like nobody's blaming so individual <coughs> police. I mean, there are some individual police who fucking suck, but like right, yeah, for sure. the whole s- system, we're not like it's hard to blame individual people, but I mean, it's systemic yeah. racism. It's just, right. it's been that way for hundreds of years and it's mm. really, really hard I to like shake that, I like that you said, of course, there's good police because yeah, I think it's also bigoted to say all police are bad. Well, it'd be hypocritical. It, it would be hypocritical. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because they're, right. they're very good police. And I know very yeah. good police. So was that, was that an issue? They didn't want police. That was one of the main issues. Yeah. So Which I mean, I like. W- at first, like, would it be bad this, to have the police there? I think so. I struggled with like, this for a while. Doesn't that separate you? Like, wouldn't you want? Like, and again, I, I don't yeah. know. I'm just saying. I, it's you definitely a fine line. Like, yes, <coughs> right. it's separatist. Yes, it's excluding somebody yeah. when you feel ex- excluded. But because of the disproportionate trouble that people of color mm-hmm. have with the police, mm-hmm. um, especially like trans people of color, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, it like. There's layers of prejudice and like people can be discriminated against for being gay, right. but like I'm white and gay. People can be discriminated against because they're black and trans. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. more mm-hmm. people are discriminated against for being trans and more people right. are being discriminated against for being black than anybody's being discriminated against right. for being gay for the most part. Right. So it's like there's levels to that. And the whole right. point is, I think from my perspective, I agree right. with the position that the pride parade in general, we should all of everybody under the community banner or community like rainbow mm-hmm. loosely associated or whatever we should all be protecting each other because for hundreds of years we've all been discriminated right, against right, right. so we all know what that's like and like right. we should all be sticking together and we're not and it's sad and i think yeah, i yeah, think yeah. if you go back to the the well-being argument the ethical argument mm-hmm. you would say yes it's bad that you're being separatist yeah there's there's some drawbacks but mm. is a long-term voicing of these concerns going to benefit our well-being as a community yes. well, I was in the long that, run well i was going to bring it up wouldn't it maybe the long-term <coughs> game of being like almost not i don't want to say turn the other cheek but uh showing that you're a better person by being more in my experience the more you turn the other cheek the more your problems are ignored and people don't right. talk about it they don't talk about it and they don't do anything about it and if if we exclude people i think i know this is nobody not a lot of people agree with me or not sure. many people agree with me but sure. if you exclude the people if you exclude the police from pride parade which on the surface seems counterproductive it starts right. a conversation that people are refusing to have and that right. we're having right now yeah i mean right. because right. like yeah. they're it's working what they're doing is working like the the disruption mm-hmm. the chaos the things that seem very unpleasant it's right. trying it's working towards the goal of fixing something right. right so it's not ignoring a problem it's like if you're really sick and like you have a broken foot like i'm going to keep walking on it like the pride parade just wanted to keep walking on the broken foot instead of like right. going to a doctor right. and right. talking right. about it and getting it fixed yeah right. and i think it's it's interesting because I think my initial and probably a lot of initial people's opinions are similar to like, oh, well, it's probably bad to take the police out because it's helping bring people together. But then right. you, if you do really, like you said, do an analysis of like, well, you're talking about it and it puts it in the forefront and you're walking on a bad foot. And in the short term, it is worse. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. In the in short, short term, term, it is it worse. It makes things way more difficult. But in the long term, it'll make things yeah. hopefully better. Right. And, and you also, have to do an analysis and you may be wrong. But yeah. you, but you, but 
you want to speak up for if you think yeah, yeah. You either, is happening. You, if you right? think that'll be you the think way that's to do the, it, you the do ethical it, do choice it. is to right, speak right, up, right, I think. Yeah. Yeah. If you and think like some the ultimate happening. goal is like, it's, we're not saying no police officers can march in the Pride Parade, but not in their uniform because that's not the individuals mm. that, that are being a problem. It's the institution. So the institution shouldn't be represented. But anybody right. who comes out from any career, police, whatever, are more than welcome to march. I don't think parade. that gets that gets talked about enough. That I, I never heard well, that. Well, it that, gets that, talked about it a lot, but I, I don't think know, it gets no, out there a lot because yeah, it's I didn't, not I didn't know that there a lot. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. yeah. I, I, I respect that wholeheartedly. No. Mm. Yeah. That that seems to make perfect sense to me. It makes sense right. to me too. Yeah. Like I understand. Why would police there be in uniform? Is it just for? It's like, why it's, were it's they there? Because I think it's a unity thing of of the institution. It's showing unity with the institution. Well, it's also like the same reason banks. Yeah, PR pride too. It's PR. It's just PR to make it look like they're right. they care right, when right, they right, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Well, I think I, I think we can stop there. That was a heavy, really? good ending. Yeah, that was a heavy ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good though. That was a uh, yeah, that was good. Enlightening. Yeah, yeah, enlightening. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. was fun. This was great. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming on. Do you like the do you like the stacking of fun bullshit? And then serious. Yeah, it really like built up there. At the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We were talking all this shit, and it's like, okay. <laughs> it's because our, our hope is nobody watches this serious thing if we say something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always so worried yeah. about getting in trouble. People say wrong things all the time. Don't yeah. be embarrassed about it. <laughs> Not embarrassed. It's just like, uh, 